I remember my mom that. in the '90s. She had you know like old school contacts, which were like pieces of glass or something. Yeah, I don't know. Hard. But I remember she would just like sleep in them and wear them all through the day. Christ. Go gardening and stuff. If they fell out, she'd just pick it up off the floor and like lick it, throw it back in. And they had a glass. Eyes, yeah, no, they weren't made out of glass. They were like thick rubber though. And so what if she stared at the sun? Would it just fucking yeah, burn her eyes? Like, <laughs> <magnified. Yeah. laughs> a beam of light shoots through the back of her head. Yeah. <laughs> no, but she uh where was I going with this? Oh yeah. Uh, when he, she took her contacts out, she looked like one of those you know, the fish at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, is this like a is this like a dick butts and farts podcast? No, no, write the, write this like, down, Pooh. I give up everything for this. It's like it's the yeah. one thing I do. <laughs> Get me a lineup of minorities and I'll yeah. sit there. Don Rickles style, just left to right. <laughs> the way, yeah. like with his legs. <laughs> like he like, goes no. like Do you have trouble sleeping? Uh not really. <laughs> Yo, have you heard about this new Marvel superhero, Basketball Man? Black <laughs> memorabilia. Two black boys pulling and pushing a toilet on wheels. Like, wow, you can't yeah, say yeah. that, Dad. <laughs> I'm protecting us. I'm protecting us. <laughs> and I'm expecting something. Yeah. <laughs> something. Turns out nobody gives a fuck about what you do on YouTube. Yeah. We had you 50 want- episodes together. You're still getting us those watches, right? Yeah. This is, this is like a weird thing to talk about because we have a guest and everything. Oh, but yeah. Sorry. Let's <laughs> we are 50 <laughs> episodes in. Yes, I'm going to buy us all turtlenecks. Versace <laughs> watches. Going to be very pimp. Freddy, you're not going to get one. So <laughs> That's even. fine. Yeah. I get it. It's all right. It's all right. You get it. Rocket Stalt jump. Get you one? can buy your own fucking <laughs> <turtleneck>. <laughs> Buy my own shit. <laughs> yeah, buy your own turtleneck. But don't get the same watch as us. All right. Oh, okay. Okay. Just give That's me a heads up only. of which watch you're getting. <laughs> yeah. Can't be it's caught. Can't very be caught. gaudy. It's got a snake <laughs> going around it. Yeah. Um, should we do like? Do you want to do a proper introduction? We should. Uh, Stolt said, "If we don't clap, he's gonna fucking kill us." Okay. One day. Like, Did he actually should... say that? Yeah, we stopped doing. it. He was like, "That actually really, really." <laughs> okay. Okay. I want one where Stolt lip syncs over me, and my voice is taken out, and it's just him the entire time. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Have you guys done the AI stuff where you just you have to read like 30 minutes of Planet Earth, but then you have your voice in AI forever? No. Like, no. What? That what? Sounds... Uh, it's called Descript is a program. It's a good podcast editing program. So like they have a thing where it's like you just they give you 30 minutes of text that you read and then they're like, all right, we can reconstruct your voice based on this. Oh, well, that's huh. awesome. Well, why do that when you can you can read whatever the fuck they made um, Philip Seymour Hoffman read in Mission Impossible 3? Yeah, that, it's like um, it's like a um, short little like four sentences like white dog jumps through the hoop and then they I don't know it's, uh, like, it's like a sentence and a half or something uh, and he just reads really fast and then they can use it to change uh, it could Tom be Cruise's it voice. could be it could be it seems the Mission Impossible movies is a little are. bit <laughs> no why don't we have face masks that we can wear yeah. and rip off at any time <laughs> yeah oh. I I think he was about to say that we should suspend disbelief when watching Mission Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think one of the yeah. funniest things about the Mission Impossible movies is how hard their PR team has to work to be like, here's some videos of a stunt Tom Cruise is in because they know everyone going in. She's like, ah, it's fake as fuck. That's not real. Yeah. It's like yeah. they have to do all this like Twitter work to be like, no, 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 there's a train. We're going to throw a train off the thing. It's actually happening. Dude, honestly, how many Mission Impossibles have there been? Like, seven six or seven i think seven um, yeah they've those, they've <laughs> remained pretty decent they, honestly you know? yeah. the newer ones yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, they're good they're action fun. flicks they're fun movies. yeah for seven movies in i think yeah like, everybody's already tired those? of john wick after the third one but i mean seven i got tired in? of john wick after the half of the first one <laughs> yeah which is surprising come from you you're your action guy I am, I know, which means I have very high end discerning tastes. That's the, uh-huh. that's the curse, you know, I'm like really, a wine connoisseur. This is the worst fucking podcast intro ever. By the way, this is, <laughs> the guy uh-huh. talking is Freddie W. <laughs> legendary <laughs> YouTuber, action guy. Action guy, <laughs> action guy. Yeah. it's me, action guy. Hey, everybody. And, and uh, you know, everybody's hero when they started YouTube, I would assume. There was like the I think only guys. only from a narrow only for a narrow window <laughs> a very narrow window because we're, we're at a point now where there's new people who are like who the fuck are you? Oh so, yeah. yeah well, true. I'm old for the internet, so yeah. And, and which makes me how older. old are you? Yeah, I'm like 36. Oh okay. 
Yeah, That's the are. range we're dealing That's, with. Yeah. I'm pretty fucking old. Jesus. <laughs> pretty fucking old. Pretty fucking old. Oh, you're I just not turned far 30. Behind, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. Not very far behind. Plus, uh, you're a little bit smaller, so you should live longer. <laughs> yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's less cells. That wasn't that wasn't like a height thing. That was I meant <laughs> no, like that's just this a, that's way. the science. Is no, that's yeah, just the science. science. Thing. <laughs> You're like a Pomeranian. They live forever. <laughs> and I'm like a what are you? Saint yeah, Bernard like, or something. Like, yeah. Yeah. The fuck, He's dog like dog wheezing. Yeah. He's wheezing in the hot weather. <laughs> <sighs> Dude, my next door neighbors growing up, they had a husky that they kept outside. Oh, year round. In Florida. I live in oh, Florida. Florida yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> that thing, like, you ever seen that movie The Omen? And there's that big black dog. And it's just sitting there like <laughs> salivating. Constantly. That would be that dog in the backyard. He's just like, if I sit completely still, <laughs> I won't die of heat stroke. He just sit there, and his crumb was just constant. Oh, yeah, that's no. so fucked up. Yeah. And then I got older, and I realized that was uh, like animal abuse, and you shouldn't do that. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, it's fucked up. Oh man. Yeah. So I saw on Twitter you're making a a full length feature film. Yeah, we're doing it this year. It turns out nobody gives a fuck about what you do on YouTube. This was because so I want to I want to take you all back a little bit, um, a little time machine, because when when we first started YouTube, and this would be like 2010 to 2015 was kind of our heyday. The the prevailing added. There's two things that was happening that I remember from that one. Nobody. The, the word influencer wasn't a word. So everybody, every article was trying to figure out, like, what do we call this new class of online entertainer? And like, I remember my favorite one was celebrity. Oh, so, oh yeah. I think God, that'd be way worse. <laughs> like, Ooh, these yeah. celebrity. It's like, mm, no, nah, it doesn't stick. They didn't have the word yet. So I remember everyone was struggling to figure out what the, what the hell to call, call this thing. And then the other thing was I remember all the articles, all the thinking at the time was like, this <clears> is where the next Steven Spielberg is going to come from. YouTube. Like they would take, there would be articles would be like, Listen, look, Fred, you might roll your eyes at Fred and his zany antics, but, but this, this guy, is a breathing ground is for the, the next, next Spielberg. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was uh, the thought. Kubrick, and, uh, and obviously, what happened was <laughs> no, it was the breeding ground for the next new thing that nobody had really quite seen before. But yeah, so 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 that's so yeah, I was doing YouTube stuff, and then for a while, we started trying to do movies. Like even when we started to try to do like video in high school, we were like, hey, we want to do a web series. People were like, you guys can't do a web series. You guys only make short action videos. We're like, oh, well, shit. Uh, so no, yeah, nobody believes you <laughs> until you actually do it. Uh, so that's what we're doing this year. We're gonna just make a movie. Is, so you can't like secure Congrats. financing. If you've been, you can, but it's also right. There's, I I think, in life, there's always like you have two things. There's always stuff that's like within your control, and then there's stuff that's like out of your control, right? Uh. And in the world of like the more the more money you need to get for a project, the more stuff starts to become out of your control, right? Uh. Uh, And and the world of like independent movies is like dog shit right now. Like I, you know, you, you probably you're around the right sort of age to be like remembering. Like Tarantino movies and like you know like re- like the, the the when I got into film school it was like Reservoir Dogs. This is the model for making movies. You make a short, you, know, you make a you make a really slow budget independent movie. You go to Sundance, you get bought, and then your career as a director is going to take off. Like that was like the way everyone was looking at how to do movies. And then now it's like it's like you do. There's like people do a couple indie features, then Marvel snaps them up to do Marvel movies because they can control like new directors better. Like they, they don't have opinions. It's like, you're just going to do our thing. So it really kind of has regressed a little bit in terms of new stuff, new voices kind of coming out. So, so that part of it's always changing. Sorry. Is this like a, is this like a dick butts and farts podcast? Am I coming on here too serious? Or um, (laughs) we do a lot. Yeah, yeah, we do. Sometimes we go on academic rants. We talk about new because if you would. Because we oh. want to go into dick butts and farts. I'm there. Just, just so oh. you know. If you guys, we need, yeah. we need a. Well, well, we can do a healthy mix. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Good. A real, real <laughs> potpourri. Yeah. 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 We could do a little bit of both. So what's your, what's your. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly tied. Yeah. Um, what's your uh, feature film about? You got like a script or is that like. <laughs> Under wraps. Private. Yeah. Like. Uh, I mean, I mean, we do have a script. Uh, we so it's about. Okay, so I'll, I'll give you like the really like short no, pitch write for the, it. Write this was, down, Pooh. Yeah. We don't have to say anything. So my, my directing partner, my writing partner, Matt and I, we were at the beginning of the pandemic, mm-hmm. and we we're like, well, okay. 
we're not total, we're not geniuses, but we know what's going to happen, which is this pandemic is going to eventually be over. And then the moment it's over, there's going to be every single motherfucker who's own who's like won an Emmy or like won an Oscar is going to be at the offices of Netflix <laughs> pitching their product projects that they wrote over the pandemic. And like, we don't have fucking golden statues. We're not at the front of that line. We're at the very end of that line uh, when this is all done. So we're like, okay, shit, we got to write something that it, like we could just do. So we came up with this, um, it's like a sci-fi road trip movie uh and the idea is that like at some point in the in the you know in the near future a giant massive alien like uh spike artifact thing just shows up over earth it's ten thousand miles tall it goes it's it's un like people are like is this a fourth dimensional eldritch thing is this some cthulhu shit is this some alien shit nobody knows everyone freaks out and then the movie takes place like 15 years later when it's still just hanging around and doesn't seem to be doing anything and then everyone's just trying to get on get on with their lives yeah is this uh just, i feel like a very expensive to get that done practically so the tr- are you gonna <laughs> 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 to get to lure an alien civilization alien weather here. balloons or something yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah no that's that's the tough part yeah yeah we've been mm. sending lasers out into the yeah no. <laughs> so yeah Trying it's like a sci-fi road trip aliens. movie okay cool that sounds pretty cool yeah, you gonna, you know, kind of low budget, little indie feature. Yeah. Nice. Are you going to be doing it uh, like, what is that called? Like crowdsource? I don't think, we don't need to do a crowdsource. Crowdsourcing is always like a tough thing for me because you know, even though we did it for like all three seasons of video game high school, I think there's a certain degree of like we're rocket jump now. And so there's a certain degree of like, the fuck you all need money for from us, you know, like, yeah. just do it. You know? I was like, just I think discussing that with my friend. He was like. Because he, he kind of poo pooed your your movie thing. He's like, the fuck does he need funding for? Like, he should be able to do. Yeah, he exactly, made right? all <laughs> these YouTube videos without much funding. Yeah, yeah. What yeah, does yeah. he need funding think- for? And then I was like, because like if I was to make a YouTube video, I could get poop to just show up probably and be like, yeah, whatever, let's do it. But like when you're at the level of Freddie Wong, everybody knows your name. Yeah. If they're like, yeah, I'll be in your video. I'm expecting some, yeah. <laughs> something. There better be at least also, fucking like, pizza there or something. Like, come on. Also, like the, the way people think about what stuff costs is just wrong. We saw this in Video Game High School. Like we raised for the first season, we raised 200 grand. And like that's, that first season didn't cost 200 grand. Like yeah. everyone thinks there's like, you made a million, you raised a million <laughs> bucks. You could make a movie. It's like, nah, it's like that stuff adds up. Because if you, you got to think about that, it's like you're employing, like in the case of Video Game High School, it's like you're employing like, 60 to 70 people full time for like a big chunk of the year. That's what you're yeah. really, you know, that's like a big part of it, you know. And also LA getting locations is ridiculous. Like the location rights. <laughs> like the the school, the school campus in Vidigam High School, that was this place at CSU Northridge and like they literally they quoted us like yeah, it'll be $7500 a day to be able to shoot here. And then like I think Star Trek, the one of the new Star Trek movies, like used it in the background or something. And then they called us back and like, hey, uh, we just got in the new Star Trek. So it's now 12 grand. Like they literally like oh. just bumped the price. I was like, well, shit, like what, what are you going to do? Like you're in L.A. You have to kind of go yeah. with what everyone knows it. So you're kind of like this is a thing that a producer friend of mine taught me, which is he was like, whenever you shoot in a neighborhood, you got to carry a roll of hundreds. I'm like, well, what's that for? He's like, because everyone in LA knows what a film shoot looks like. There's trucks, there's people starting to set up. So the moment someone sees that, they'll just start weed whacking. They know that you need sound. So they'll just start mowing their lawns, their property and do whatever they want. So then you got to go over and be like, hey, sorry, can you stop? And like, and like the code of it is like, here's a hundred bucks. Can you stop mowing your lawn? And it's like, great, I'll take my hundred. I'll go back inside. And that's it. So you got to keep a roll <laughs> of hundreds. Oh. It's just, it's just it's shit's expensive because people know there's money there. Yeah. You guys should film in that Indiana just... instead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. I mean, that's why. I mean, honestly, a lot of a lot of like stuff is not filmed in L.A. anymore. You know, yeah. like, all the Marvel shows that you saw. Like, there's a reason why. Like, what was it? Winter, like Falcon, the Winter Soldier. It's just like, welcome to Eastern Europe. The show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah that, I would film them on location, like in uh, isolated places, and then <laughs> you know, like that yeah. movie, the the witch. You know, yeah. like it was filmed up and like you seem to you seem to have a pretty good knowledge of like the modern horror. Like, yeah. are you a big horror guy? No, not really. You go up to the woods up there, and then you just you have the only car out, and then you hold on yeah. to the keys. Yeah. And yeah, exactly. then you're like, we're finishing this do? for under budget, or else you're not going home. <laughs> 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 if you do it in LA, like they could just be like, "Fuck you, I'm going back to my apartment." But 
That's why it's a road trip movie. Yeah, that's why mm-hmm. we're, we're going all the way out there. No way back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you guys seen this? Uh, have you seen that Tesla robot thing? Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. I, I, have, I have a diagram I prepared. Oh. What the? First of all, that thing's fucking <laughs> horrific. I love that they, I love that they have yeah. to put a bullet point friendly. Ju- friendly. Well, what did you think yeah. it was going to be otherwise? Right. Well, wait, is this like, thing no, a fucking asshole? <laughs> is this thing like the, this yeah. one? I don't like the four no, humans. No, it's good. Okay. Built by humans for humans. <laughs> They're really just throwing the <laughs> and, and just it's friendly not going to take there. over. We promise. Yeah, you know <laughs> that humans. the marketing team was like, "This thing's fucking terrifying. We have to put friendly <laughs> yeah. on here." Because the Boston Dynamics one yeah. looks like, you know, it's like it's like a robot. It's got a Abs- cuteness yeah. to it. It's like old yeah. Wally, yeah. you know. It's it's not yeah. human yeah. enough to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like the robot butler from uh, uh, <laughs> Rocky Three. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Rocky Four, up. no. Rocky yeah. Four, yeah. I keep yeah. bringing up like weird movie references. Dude, dude I, I love, love the robot butler, dude. I was, I was so bummed in the new Rockies. So I'm like, where the fuck's a robot butler? <laughs> yeah. you, got, like, you guys established that this is a world where robotics has progressed to the point where Rocky can have a butler, a functioning butler <laughs> as a robot. You're telling me that we're and like all the new Rocky anywhere movies? Else. You don't yeah. see him anywhere yeah. else? Like, you guys can't ignore this. Yeah. That scene is so. Who showed us that on the podcast? That was someone, right? Like brought it oh, up. I'd never seen that before until a couple months ago. Oh I yeah, fuck it. I watch that I now. No like once a once a week. <laughs> yeah, once I just week. watch. Well, the I love about it is it plays so the music good. as it it's comes so, in. Yeah. The whole yeah. thing is put together. So it has the speaker so on it, and it's like yeah. <laughs> it does the synth and everything. So, oh, so many like cuts too, just for it to get to the table. It's awesome. <laughs> Anyway, the Tesla robot is nothing like that. Yeah, this. I would have this one play music so I knew where it oh. was. You know, I would well, have no. it uh, play heavy breathing all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so when I told it to go back to its room, which is my closet in my bedroom, I would just have it if looming it on the other far side. Away, it screams. <laughs> that way you know where it is. <laughs> it's it's in the back corner scream, of my house, yeah. screaming at the top <laughs> of its lungs. <laughs> If all the lights yeah. go out and it's too dark, it'll start <laughs> screaming and thrashing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God. Oh shit. It's yeah, it's scary. Yeah. yeah, that's fucking that's pretty pretty terrifying. I don't it's, know, man. I think Elon figured it out. Oh. Elon figured out that all you have to do nowadays is just hype up dumb bullshit and everyone will fall over themselves for it. Yeah, Lose remember the that flamethrower? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, 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 the super soaker. Yeah, it was just yeah. like I don't know. It's it like, it 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 up for like nothing. How much were they when he sold them? They were expensive, right? We we're they're like they, two hundred bucks or something or something like oh, that. I, I don't remember. Yeah, five hundred maybe. I'm crazy, but I, I remember I, I they weren't even that impressive. And then I saw it shooting flames, and I was like, "This is nothing compared to yeah, a real one." Yeah, like I was expecting Saving Private Ryan, where I could like. Pop open a window and my <laughs> put in there, and then she see flames shooting out of his chimney and shit, like on the other side. But yeah, no, it was like it, a glorified oh. butane lighter. Lighter, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really, lighter yeah. energy. Yeah, really, that sucked. I wanted a war machine. I could <laughs> yeah. in my neighborhood with. Yeah, and that's what he sold you on. But see, that's the key, right? He sold you on the idea of a war machine. So that tells me, like, this robot, right? If you take that same disparity, like, what is this robot going to be? It's going to be like that little from the Honda one it's, that fell down the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This what robot. are those videos from uh, where the people are doing like CPR on it or like dental work, and it's just <laughs> someone's dubbed over it screaming, screaming. Oh, yeah. yeah, what kind yeah. of robot is it? I don't even know what it's for. No. Yeah, well, for dental work, right? Is it is it a dental one? I forget what it was. Yeah. I remember it was laying back in like an operating chair. It was just going, like, <laughs> <laughs> just like screaming up at the ceiling, but I forget what it did. Uh. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's basically that's all I got uh, written <laughs> for today. Oh, <laughs> I got written about <laughs> movie uh, and Tesla uh, uh, robot. Mention Rocky at some point. Mention Rocky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Rocky right. movie references. Uh. Yeah. Okay. What is that robot even gonna like? When do they expect that done? Whatever. No. I Can think. It, yeah. It's, it's one of those you actually got it exactly right. Whatever is when they expect it. To be done. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, who cares? Can yeah. can it use the flamethrower, the robot? Maybe it's like an attachment. People didn't right. realize once it hooks up to that. Oh my god. Supercharged. They made the robot slightly less like 
shorter than fucking Elon Musk. Like he's like, I have <laughs> yeah, to be taller. Like, <laughs> 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 like, as long as I'm one inch taller, I'll be able to wipe yeah. out an entire platoon of these things. And my yeah. penis is one inch bigger than this is. It's <laughs> 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 like really specific. Uh, it says yeah. dick How size. Instantly, are those yeah. going to be turned into sex robots? Someone's going to buy one week yeah. one and start drilling holes in wear the ass. <laughs> yeah. Here, wear this. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden like all the clothing that fits a 5'8 mannequin is just Ew. like world Push shortage out. Yeah. put your thumb in my butt as a command Come on. Yeah. lift this package and then put a thumb in my ass <laughs> wait does uh, the thing even have fucking hands I don't know I don't, it's got I hands it's I it, it, it has it's fully eliminated. Fingers. real quick hold on this is a hand job machine Elimits, oh. eliminates dangerous repetitive boring tasks Oh, wow. it can, it's it's, yeah. five miles an arm extend 10 pounds like that's plenty that's with well within spec of uh yeah. yeah with with both arms you could probably Speed. get a hold of it five miles per hour <laughs> and lift 150 dude this thing is just like you shed some pounds this thing can just pick me up yeah <laughs> carry me around I'm like, take take me to the store dude that's <laughs> <Yeah. it. laughs> All right, I'm, I'm not big on like weight loss, but if yeah. that could happen, I'm yeah. crash diet so hard. I gotta lose 80 pounds so I could get carried by my yeah, whack me off and carry me to bed, tuck me oh. in. Hell yeah, just like, where, just like hold me like a backpack and I just get to go. All yeah. right, That'd be sweet. I think the oh. moment, yeah, the, uh, in my head, the moment you're able to be jerked off by a robot and then the robot tucks you into bed, it's like the last thing you see as you look up to the sky is like your entire. <laughs> Entire lineage of ancestors looking down at you from <laughs> heaven, upset. being like, "You did it! Oh, you, you did, did it! it. No, you good. did proud. it! Yeah. <laughs> you did it! No, it's no, it! Good. They'd be we, happy. Yeah, they'd they'd just proud. thumbs up all they'd around, dude. It's like the Force <laughs> Ghost at the end of Return of Jedi, look across my room. It's just like all these old Asian men uh, being like, "Good job, good job, we've done it." <laughs> That robot just gave you a hand job and then cleaned up for you afterwards. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I would give anything for that. <laughs> oh. oh man. Strap your auto blow onto his face. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, this thing doesn't even have a mouth. No, it doesn't. Wow. You have to you have to yeah. take a... that's a that's an extension yeah. that you yeah. can buy. Yeah. Yeah. DLC, you get eyes and a mouth. Uh, celebrity, you know how like they'll oh. do the celebrity <laughs> flashlights. Yeah, they're yeah. gonna sell celebrity God. face covers for these like things. faces. Yeah. That would be so wrong. And so, and so then I would, I would of course if buy Tesla the face sold of sold celebrity faces. I would buy the face of like those porn stars that nobody's like. They're obviously not the prettiest. Right? Who's that lady that looks like uh the guy that makes Family Guy? Seth MacFarlane, Dylan Harper, Dylan Harper, Dylan Harper. Yeah, yeah. so basically, have Brian. Up. This one, <laughs> no, no, knows, I just know that. Man. Yeah. About it before, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dylan Harper, Dylan Harper. <laughs> Dylan Harper. <laughs> I know, I know yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah. She looks like Seth MacFarlane. She, just straight, I would basically have a Seth MacFarlane uh, sex doll. This one I would have. Yeah. Look up Dylan Harper Why? and Seth MacFarlane. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just get? Because oh, I doubt Seth MacFarlane's gonna put his face on a on a butler <laughs> thing. That would be fucking weird. <laughs> what what about stealing uh, faces? Can I get a uh, Family Guy on there? Yeah, can I get Brian from Family Guy? <laughs> oh, All right, uh, Seth MacFarlane. Hey, you want to hear some spell shit? McFarland for some reason? Oh, I'm I, I am all over the place. <laughs> I misspelled that five times. <laughs> yeah. Is he Irish? What is this? Uh, wow, they do look pretty similar. <laughs> they remarkably yeah. similar. Yeah. <laughs> At um, least if you told me that like they were related, I wouldn't be like, no way. I'd be like, okay, yeah. I see it. I totally see it. Yeah, there was, uh, you know, when deep fakes came out, there was someone <laughs> that did a deep fake of. Seth MacFarlane on her porn, on her. like all like a bunch of her scenes, and then they would post the original, and there was no discernible difference. Yeah, it just, he's like, what? In the in the edited clip, I'd be like, she really needs to touch up her eyebrows a little bit. That's <laughs> <laughs> not the only difference. No. Did you see the Bruce Willis deepfake thing? No, I didn't. No, 
So there was a Russian company that was like, hey, we, we got Bruce Willis in our commercial. They just paid Bruce Willis to be able to, for the rights to deepfake him oh into a commercial. <laughs> awesome. Like If you Google Russian deepfake Bruce Willis, like right now, it is like straight oh. up, he's just in the commercial. Like that is the dream. He got paid that, like a couple milo easily to just be like, cool, go ahead. Use my face. I don't care. <laughs> what the hell? Well, Oh Dude, that's God, what that's yeah. what you need to get for this uh, this movie. You need to find those <laughs> deep fucking actors. We have no, in one of our scripts. No joke, that just don't give a shit anymore. But uh, no joke, in one of our scripts, there's a there's a scene where we're like, how are we gonna do this? We have like a you know, it's like the joke is it's like the Hollywood version of something you saw in the movie, and it's like, oh, yeah, we we need like that you know big A listers. We're like, we could just deep fake it. It's like, what could they do? It's like they could sue you, but it's like, yeah, but like. That's just publicity for your movie, though. Yeah, that's well, if true. If it's really funny, then they won't sue yeah. you. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. There's a, there's a, that's a real gamble, right? Because yeah. it's like, ooh, I'll look bad if I'm, you know, if uh, if this movie sucks, they'll sue you. But if it's a good movie, yeah. and everyone's like, wow, what a great thing. It's like, mm, can't say anything. To save money, you should, uh, one of my friends, his dream is to have a movie where one of the characters is just completely CGI or like claymation <laughs> and no one ever addresses <laughs> it. And they just like go along. Like, it's just there and no one ever makes any note of it. And just really poorly done. Like, a lot more expensive than just a, a guy. It is. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> yeah, fully. They're like kind of crude CGI, like PS2 graphics or something. Like, <laughs> yeah, there's like Max Gold style. Yeah. Yeah. And he's got like some serious parts where like things are like down and gritty and he's delivering <laughs> hard hitting lines. Yeah. Some hard hitting lines. Yeah. <laughs> and they're just completely. His mouth doesn't even move. It's yeah. like it's straight. He's got <laughs> the blue clay <laughs> tears that roll yeah. down his cheeks. Claymation yeah. would be more <laughs> that impressive. That would be hilarious. But yeah. That'd be kind of hard to pull off i can imagine you even have oh. a couple frames where your hand is still like positioning him finger in there yeah. you got to remove the finger <laughs> i am yeah. the trivia yeah you can have that one for free but <laughs> the rest of the ideas are gonna cost you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a quick freebie because it's my friend's dream not mine yeah. oh yeah very good <laughs> He's selling his out for, for a quick laugh um <laughs> Is this is this a? Uh, oh, I see it. It's like Bruce Willis speaks oh, Russian. It doesn't yeah. even. That looks nothing like him. Like his face is positioned so high up on the. It looks, it, looks, it looks a little off, but I mean, it's not. It's a pretty good job for a deep fake. I think. I think it, yeah. his head usually sits lower <laughs> on his face. You know what I mean? <laughs> you fucking Bruce Willis expert. I guess next just, time they should yeah. consult you on yeah. the face placement. <laughs> Bruce Willis is in like Sam's like two of his favorite movies, so. Makes and sense. What are those? Uh, Pulp Fiction and um, Die that Hard. movie. No, the <laughs> movie with the Jesus Christ. Uh, you know what it is. Come on. Uh, the Fifth Element. <laughs> fifth Element. <laughs> yeah, Fifth Element. Jesus. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, Fifth Element's great. Yeah, but he's such he's a not fucking the Big Lebowski. He's such a stick <laughs> in the mud. He's. I don't yeah. know. I, I can't stand him. <laughs> Who's Luke, that? Good thing you don't have to hang out with him. You can just watch yeah. him. Yeah, <laughs> who's that? Uh, who would be like an actor that you would love to to get onto a movie? Oh, see, that's a that's a tough question because we get we get like the scuttlebutt because it's one thing to be like, oh, this person's good, but then you hear about like, yeah, you know, you have to still work with the person, yeah, and then no, you just yeah. hear stories about like, oh, this is a whole different world, like, like. No joke. The reason why, like, I think one of the most important things that people look for in terms of like the people with the money in Hollywood, what they really care about is because everyone knows that like you need the actors to be happy. So like a director who has a reputation, like sometimes you see a, like this director be like, what the heck? Why does this person keep getting movies? Like nine out of 10 times is because they work really well with actors and they know how to handle and juggle you know, pe these people with big egos and big, you know, reputations and, and all that. And like, you know, obviously not everyone is like wild raving assholes, but it's just a world where you have that range of personality and it's tolerated because there's money involved and the amount of money involved is enough where people are like, fine, we'll pay. We're paying, paying this actor you know, millions of dollars and they can be a diva on set because at the end of the day, we're going to make way more because they're in our movie. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> so like as weird as it is I, like so for me it's like it, it, it's just like 
uh, like people like, like for example, like Vigo has like Vigo Mortensen has like a stellar reputation. Yeah. And it's like, I, who knows? Right. But like, I, I think a lot of it is any actor who's like not done acting their whole life has done something else. Like Vigo was like a truck driver for a while. Yeah. And like, there's just like a, I think a perspective sometimes that you can get from anyone who's like not done acting their whole life from like start to finish. And again, there's plenty of great people who have done that as well, but it's just, it's a real minefield. And you just, you start to get into, once you get into like the, the, that side of it, you're just like, oh no, oh no, these, these people are actually kind of, you know, <laughs> maybe not people we should be like emulating and trying to like <laughs> hold up on a pedestal. They're just pretending to be other people. That's, yeah, that's like their job. Dickheads. Yeah. Okay. So to answer your question, like Topher Grace, you want yeah. Topher Grace? In yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Long, some A-lister. Yeah. Or someone that's so like serious that you would just make them do something horrible in your movie. Like mm. I would, I'll put this way. This I would, could be funny. Like, I think like if I could ever get Nick Cage in something, I'd be <clears> just <throat> through the moon. I think Nick Cage is one of the greatest actors of our generation. He's been doing a like, lot of like weird cool stuff. projects yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which, which to me tells me <clears throat> like this is somebody who like takes the shit seriously you know like you, yeah. you don't do weird stuff unless you, uh, if, if if you're the kind of person who like is really concerned about like making sure you look good you don't do weird stuff you yeah. just you know you, you straight down the middle every single time whereas like any actor that's willing to kind of do weird like like uh robert pattinson is an example where it's like he did the twilight movies and then he just like has done nothing but weird movies since yeah then. And it's like yeah he's, and he's fantastic in them you know yeah he really is Good times. That was a good movie. Yeah, good times was really good. Yeah, yeah. I quite enjoyed that. I've um, only seen the lighthouse with him recently. I mean, that's also wait. Uh, isn't, he, isn't he gonna be the new Batman? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so that's shit, what's, yeah. that's what's wild. Looks, right? yeah, 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 I'm excited for that. that. Yeah, that's actually a pretty. The trailer was pretty cool. Pretty good. Yeah. And Paul Dano is in that too. Oh, he's in it. Yeah, he's Who's the Riddler. He play? Oh, he's the Riddler. But they're doing like a more like serial killery. <laughs> Riddler, yeah. Looking Riddler. Yeah, Wasn't like the Jim original Carrey. Joker? Didn't he just like, you know, shoot people in the face? Bang. So, yeah. He had a gun like, that shot big bang <laughs> word. The word bang out of no, it. No, no, no. That was like that was like later. Like, oh, okay. That, yeah, that was like later. But like no, no, no. I'm saying like the 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 TV show, the yeah, he had like the, the bang thing, but like the original comics didn't, wasn't the Joker just kind of like a insane mobster guy? <laughs> They're like, just, he's just, he's a madman who would shoot someone in yeah, public. Like it wasn't, <laughs> he would just laugh as he like shot like a, a yeah. woman in the face, but it wasn't, his joking ability was pretty lackluster back then. Not very funny. No. It was not very <laughs> it was like funny. The least <laughs> funny like, hey, joke ever. Can we punch up the funny on this guy? <laughs> give, give him a name change at least. Like, yeah. uh, going to be the Joker. <laughs> like the comedian in Watchmen. He's also not very funny. Yeah, he wasn't very funny either. <laughs> he had a really cool house, though. I, I went back and watched the beginning of that movie just so I could look at his apartment. It was very dimly lit, but it was a very cool looking place. Probably Eames lounge chairs and whatnot scattered he, around. He did, he did have some pretty cool Mid -century, furniture. Mid-century, yeah. Yeah. But it was like that late 70s, like, dark modern, you know? Yeah, I don't this know. Is, this is weird, but if you're a mid-century furniture fan, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey has some really good like just production design like locations it's like i was the whole i went and saw that movie and i was like there's some, there's some good furniture in here this really? guy's got some taste Damn. yeah i'd have to wow. watch that not jerk off to it just watch the <laughs> just, just watch, watch the it yeah couch. just for the furniture yeah the yeah. couches yeah i remember my when when those movies came out <clears throat> and my wife was reading the books mm. and she was telling me how like the character was such a tragic guy and and I was like, this guy's like, <laughs> apparently he's like the most good looking guy ever. He's got millions of dollars and his fucking cock is huge. Like, how is this <laughs> most guy in the world? Wow, woe is me. I'm rich as fuck. I look awesome. My cock is works and it's huge. Whoa. Yeah. I was like, God, I feel sorry for him. That sucks. Yeah. Probably read those books too. <laughs> I have not. I know so little about those. They start. I know they started as like a Twilight fanfic, yeah. right? Yeah, maybe the crazy. most successful. Maybe the most successful example of a fanfic, like ever. Yeah, that's nuts. And that's, are they still making the movies? Or are they done with those? I can't. They have one movie. I believe they're done. Oh, okay. No, no, there's there's a there's a it's a trilogy. A I believe. Holy shit! Oh. Why? Yeah, I, like because it made money. Because yeah, it made yeah, money. it made money. Why? Yeah. <clears throat> 
Yes, uh, Fifty Shades Darker and Fifty Shades Freed. I didn't even oh. know they made that many already. Jesus, I know. I mean, you're not in the target demographic. Yeah, so. yeah, it's true. He's pretty emotional, really you know. Don't just sweep like, him like there's a the new road. Paw Patrol yeah. movie. Like you know, what I mean, like <laughs> they made a movie Paw Patrol. It's oh my uh, God. Is, it, is there actually a Paw Patrol movie? Is it? Is I feel it, like you. Yeah, 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 yeah. It just came out. Big uh, one this what? year, Paw Patrol movie, man. Jesus. What? I'm gonna be watching that eventually. You're gonna have to. Yeah. I'm gonna Just have to. Kids, tell her. I've been. I've watched that Luca should... movie. The oh yeah, um, yeah. I've watched that like 48 times now. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> fucking done with oh. that. I walked into that with a very moderate appreciation of Italian culture, and now I fucking hate them. God. <laughs> 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 Stupid fucking movie. They're, they're mean to creatures. Yeah. I haven't seen the movies. Monsters. Is that what happens? Yeah. 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 They hate. No, so remarkably uh, understanding people. At the end, uh, Luca and the, the other kid are just, they just help up a girl that fell off a bike, and the whole town was like, our whole identity is about killing sea monsters, but we saw you pick up that girl, and so <laughs> you're cool. That's really nice to you. <laughs> yeah, that's it. They'd like, wow. and everybody just like skips off into the sunset. <laughs> the kid at the end. It's a kids movie, so it is. Yeah, he's a fucking they sea monster. Kill them? They didn't rip them apart. What it's a small <laughs> town, right? All right, I could understand yeah. maybe that small town becoming friends with this sea monster kid, but then they put him on a train up to Geneva, which is like a big city. <laughs> And just expect people of Geneva to just be like, oh, it's a sea monster, of course. Come right on <laughs> yeah. that guy's gonna get fucking, it's like a 10 year old boy is going to get crucified as soon as yeah. he hits the train station. Yeah. At least studied for science and shit. <laughs> Military's going to get a hold of him, mm -hmm. make sea people. Yeah. And, then, and then that's where um, that fucking, what's that name of that movie? Something, uh, The Feel of Water or something like that? Uh, the Shape of Water. <laughs> shape of Water. water. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Shape of, yeah, Luca's yeah. the prequel. And Luca shape of water. stays in captivity for 48 oh years my. and then he comes across that lady. Yeah. Wow. What a sad, wow, really sad makes series you think. of events. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Uh -huh. I haven't seen either of those, so I have nothing to add. <laughs> Dude, we, uh, need to, we need to. I just... like sea monsters. I don't know. I like the idea of yeah, them. I don't, know so. if, I don't know if we can make this a movie podcast. <laughs> well, what's a movie you could watch over and over again, Sam? Me? Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Good question. Yeah, I, I like like those mobster movies because I feel like they're so meanderingly disjointed that you can pick <laughs> them up at any point, like Casino and Goodfellas. You know? I, th I think Casino really like because I, I remember seeing Casino on TV reruns just like constantly growing constantly. up, and it doesn't and matter it's like, at what point. It doesn't you matter. Just yeah, sit yeah, down, you can watch it. Well, there you go. Play that for. No, no, no. Because there's that scene where they put the guy's head in the vice and they <laughs> pop out his eyeball and shit. My That's kids like Looney Tunes <laughs> shit. That's fine. Yeah, they're too young to even understand what they're seeing. It doesn't yeah. matter. No, if if I add Looney Tune noises, <laughs> exactly. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah when his eye pops out, oh, like, oh, boing, 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 boing. Yeah. Boing, boing. <laughs> do the Tom and Jerry That's scream. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that one. Oh. Yeah, That's my favorite idea. cartoon sound effect—the one that goes <laughs> foom. Yeah, <laughs> you know, talking about that that <laughs> foom. I'm like, how the fuck? I don't know what that is, but I love it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you always see that on um, uh, e fucked if you're putting on that website. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever it's some gross sexual thing going into something else, it's always <laughs> as it gets yeah. like a potato going into an apple. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> what, yeah, what we need to keep it more this? professional. This guy's a professional guy. Jesus Christ! Yeah. Guys, come Before, on. Yeah. E fuck. <laughs> 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 not net or dot com. It doesn't matter. <laughs> what. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, that's gross. Oh my god. Mm. So, anyways, uh, you're like our, our kind of our window into Hollywood. If we give you huh. spec script ideas, will you? Could you pass like, them on? To <laughs> pass them on. To pass them on to old Stevie. Stevie yeah. S. Yeah. There's yeah. a story where there's a story, and again, this is like part of Hollywood legend. But supposedly, um, uh, you know, there's a supposedly like Steven Spielberg, one of these directors had a cousin who literally threw a script into their car and then sued them later for being like you stole my idea because they had like written the thing and then like the guy was like what the fuck like it's just yeah it's star crazy man. Wars. You be careful. what is this star wars i think it was like i think it was, a, it was a, i think it was the hunt for red october i think was what the story is like and the guy and like his cousin had written like a uh um 
his cousin had written like a a submarine movie. And he was talking to the director of like who would who, who would eventually direct or write, you know, Hunt for Red October. And then like when the movie came out, they're just like, "Yeah, you stole that idea of a submarine movie from me." Jesus. Huh. Was it a legitimate theft? Or? No, not at all. No, of course okay. not. It, was yeah. just, it just happened to be a submarine <clears throat> movie. It's like, you know. Yeah. Mm. Uh, that's a blossoming industry, too. Submarine yeah. movies are hot right now. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, it hasn't been a good submarine movie no, in a while. I got to say. Time. I was thinking about that the other day. Like, because someone literally was like, is there any movies with submarines? And the only one I could think of was Hunt for Red October. And I saw someone the other day, like, what's the best um, volcano survival movie? I'm like, you haven't made one of those in so goddamn long. Oh, no, no, no. Here, I, my friend, you're looking in the wrong place. Oh, yeah. So there's a world of like direct to DVD, oh. like oh, style yeah, type no. of stuff. Yeah, like, right. like, that's the place. That's where it is. Like, there's like yeah. every natural Probably disaster. Because you know why? <laughs> So this is wow. funny. So like every natural disaster has like a movie because like it's internationally understandable. Like you don't oh. need to be you know, culturally anything to understand a volcano <laughs> erupting is bad and like you get it, right? So yeah. the, so that I, I remember we had a sales agent once. It was a sales ag- sales agent's person is in charge of like taking, you know, movies to markets and trying to get them sold in different territories. And I asked him, I was like, what's like, <clears throat> what's a movie you could, what's the easiest movie you could ever sell? And he t- thought about it for a second and he was like, all right, I could sell a movie just on this poster, which is a guy in the middle of two pregnant women who are looking at him mad, and then he in the middle's got his arms up like, uh? and he's like, that, any culture, anywhere in the world, you show that poster, they get what that movie's about. They know exactly yeah. what that movie's about. Do like, what? Oh, interesting. <laughs> he's like, oh no. Yeah. I love getting bitches pregnant, so I'd mock I'd that. <laughs> yeah. 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 I can relate. I, can, I think yeah, every I can guy I've can relate a to that. a lot of girls yeah. pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no kids, but we got a lot of girls. The most relatable thing ever is just the double and a volcano pregnancy. volcano exploding in the back <laughs> yeah, of the poster. Yeah, in the background, <laughs> volcano. Maybe we a couple had a, We had a friend who was... We had a, I think it was a friend of a friend who was making movies and they were like doing like Walmart DVD movies. And like on the second one, they were like, hey, you need to put an explosion or chupacabra <laughs> in your movie. <laughs> and like, it's like, really? Like, or? I don't know which one to choose. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like well, we need one of those two things. Either one, up to you. But if you don't have one of those, we can't find it. But I we would have one of those. The chupacabra what, what, is a romantic what, interest. <laughs> like, <laughs> would, would people know it's chupacabra if you just put it on the? Uh, like, if it's not a real little chupacabra. monster, yeah. Yeah. yeah, is that a globally known thing? Yeah. Chupacabra? Like, <laughs> they just think it's some weird hairy rat thing. Like they never. <laughs> yeah, but if you know, you know. Look, yeah, you know. True. No, yeah. no. But if, if you know, it, you know. I'd be drawn out if I saw a cryptid on there. I'd go, what the chupacabra? Do we have Walmart's got the numbers? Uh, I'll stay with the two pregnant ladies and the guy going. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, my dog I got for my wife's accidentally a chupacabra. <laughs> <laughs> that, like, like, no joke. Blood. Like, no joke. That, yeah, that's a movie right there. You could totally, that's a sellable premise of a movie right there. Really? I just found a yeah. stray dog and it was chupacabra. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a million dollars. Don't, that don't one's going to cost you. That end. movie, I'd, you got the claymation character. Yeah. Now the chupacabra. <laughs> No, no, uh, the chupacabra is just a dog with like added stuff. The g- his owner is the, his owner's <laughs> like, CGI. Yeah. It looks like the guy from Virtual Fighter. He just, <laughs> the most nonsensical movie just of all time. Big old yeah. blocky yeah. arms. Not a single human for you to relate to. <laughs> yeah. as you can tell. It's a fucking oh. dog and a clay person. My dog it's like, is the chupacabra with AI voice coming out of the claymation. <laughs> the, the pull, the pull quotes are like if wally was shit <laughs> yeah uh. oh man and so like how easy is the slip into let's say making um like pornography like do you oh. do, do people ever anybody you know just goes like like hey you want to direct like a porn movie is that uh, like something that no happens? it's actually harder than you think because really because I think the porn industry knows, like, one, it's, like, already uh, just a skeezier industry. Like, i.e., the people who are attracted to it are more likely to be to be the kind of people who will rip you off, too, you know? So it's just, like, yeah. already got a little yeah. bit of that, like, funk to it. And, like, also, like, I, th- I think it's a very closely guarded and jealously guarded circle. Like, it's not easy to just, like, break yeah. into it. I also feel like 
people don't need message. sets and no, directors exactly. anymore yeah, as much it's, as they it's, used that's to. That's the older it's yeah, it's an older generation for that, right? So many people are moving towards just like uh, you know, I mean, it's just it's the YouTube thing, right? Yeah. It's just, oh, cool. We got cameras. I got editing software. I got a computer. Like I can do this. I too, got you know? I got Bluetooth cameras in my Airbnb. <laughs> a bed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you make my own. You guys scan. Like you ever go to Airbnb? You guys scan for cameras, right? I've oh, I read I'm a whole article on week. that, yeah, and then I was afraid. Yeah. There's like the there's it was like a four step thing, but there's a lot of weird stuff in between the steps it was like first like get your airbnb then download this <laughs> app and then connect to the Don't. network and scan the network to see what devices are connected and then like the next step was just like find the cameras and just i'm like how would you find them? Like, I, <laughs> like, they, like I don't want to turn luck. on the app in like you know because if i'm gonna go on an airbnb vacation i'm gonna get like a cool place that i would never have as a home you know what i mean right Right. Like yeah. a like a weirdly modern place, yeah, for the experience, or like an yeah. alpine villa or something. And if if I see that there's um, fourteen different things connected to the network, yeah. they're not going to be I, named, I, like, and I can like only, named, like, yeah, they're not going to call it like bathroom, bathroom like corner toilet, wall, <laughs> bathroom cam. butt cam. Yeah, if there's well, like fifteen cam on right. there, and I only find ten. I'm gonna, gonna. I'm not gonna be able to have out. a vacation. Yeah. yeah, I'm just gonna be yeah. laying there in my bed, going like they're watching me. Five I more, can, five yeah, more God. cameras on here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, because everybody thinks they're fucking Jason Bourne. They're gonna go in, and pull up their app, and be like, "We got, we got devices in this room." But yeah. it's like, nah, you're not gonna find that shit. You're just gonna be sitting there with the knowledge that you're being watched, which is yeah. worse. Well, yeah. I saw one where uh, the the screws that were on an outlet, <laughs> yeah. not yeah, the yeah, outlet yeah. itself, the screw head was a camera. Like yeah, now you're Jesus yeah. Christ! Like, <laughs> I, I, I'm going to an Airbnb in like a week, and now you got me horrified. I didn't <laughs> don't, know such don't, a don't get the app. I'm just gonna fucking oh, I'm gonna tear this place to shreds. <laughs> yeah. When I just get in there, I'm just gonna start the just demo <laughs> tearing up all the pillows. <laughs> the guy who started songs gonna go ape shit, but I'm protecting us. I'm protecting us. And he's, he's gonna, he's gonna sue located. you. He's gonna sue you, and as evidence, he's gonna have his hidden cam footage. So he yeah, <laughs> Twenty thousand dollars worth of damage. I didn't find a single camera. I got eight different points of view. Yeah. Doing it. Cameras inside the mattresses. Come on. Let's get them. Camera yeah. in the knife handle. So it's like a first yeah. person perspective. Yeah. <laughs> like open the fucking pillows. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, good stuff. But I won't do that, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, that's not very professional. Yeah, I'm not yeah. gonna do that. Off the clock. If you're doing it, eh. how about this for a show idea? <laughs> Just throwing it out there. So I saw it on my notes app. Show with the live audience. Okay. Um, okay. Like, almost like, you know, it's not that serious of a show, but they've got their moments. Like, uh, I can't really think of many live audience shows nowadays besides like Big Bang Theory or something. Oh, so like audience. a fictional show, like a, yeah, yeah, like a fictional show, but the live audience is just a bunch of people and they, they can just say like anything and like you just hear them picked up on the mics like, <laughs> like oh, yeah. fuck, this yeah. fucking they sucks. Like, <laughs> yeah. and like, like they can just They're say like anything, huffing. they have like no direction. It's just a bunch of random people you get off the street and you're yeah. like, all right, just react to this. <laughs> Somebody's phone goes off, they have Boom. a conversation. Million dollars, yeah. They yeah. have a whole phone call, they can do whatever the fuck yeah. they want. <laughs> Guys so, open up snacks and shit. <laughs> Is this so here's the be- secret about people off the street, which is they're most people are fucking idiots. Like they are oh, terrible good. on camera. So by the way, yeah, so by the way, yeah, yeah. no joke, no joke though. But you, but like like you guys have a baseline ability to be on camera and be entertaining. I almost all but guarantee you, if you keep that in mind and you go to go to a a, a screening or like a taping of The Price Is Right. And you just play it up a little bit and just think about it from the perspective of like a, the show producer and be like, what would be entertaining for them? You're getting on that show. I can almost guarantee it. Oh, huh. I want to like be Jim, like my brother, Jimmy was like, he was like, yeah, dude, like we went to prices, right? He's like, oh yeah, it was easy. Like, cause he's, you know, he's like an actor too. And he's like, yeah, what do you do? It's like, yeah, I, I made up a good story about why me and my friend are there. It was about like, oh, we're visiting from Vermont and all this stuff. And he's just like, yeah. And then they, of course, and just, and just be concise, be entertaining and be like big. They'll pick you because they're looking for those types of people. Yeah. yeah. I've always noticed yeah. that. Like, <laughs> yeah. I've I'm always thought that. Like, <laughs> yeah, giant hat. Yeah, yeah. No joke. Yeah. No joke. Yeah. 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 
<laughs> Abby leaves yeah, and then the like do a big on. southern twang and do a whole thing yeah. about like being yeah. a like, yeah, be big characters and like they will pull you up. I see that shit playing during the day and I'll just like walk by and see a snippet of it. And I'm like, there's no way that's a real person. It's just, yeah, I know. It's just like a dude wearing lederhosen and he's just like saying some shit in a roughly yeah. German accent. And I'm like, you're not from Germany. Like, fuck off. <laughs> You're just on the show, and they just uh, make. Uh, <laughs> I am a friend. It's like really offensive. <laughs> I love it like a snail. <laughs> just no accent. Just yeah, no, do a Borat yeah. impression the whole time. Oh uh, yeah, I'm from the place Borat's from. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a uh, country. Just yeah, like, yeah. You know. I'm from the movie Borat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fiction. Character. Uh, oh man. Or yeah. just show up as a fully claymation person in the price is right. <laughs> you just can't let go of it. Man, yeah. he, just, he really wants that. <laughs> or CGI. Just rough CGI. Yeah. Rude CGI. Uh, uh. Nah. Anyway, if you guys yeah. want to get on price is right, you can do it. Oh, I oh, like to go to LA. They filmed that in Indiana at first. <laughs> 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 like a traveling thing. Yeah. Yeah, they, they yeah. It's like town. Antiques Roadshow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. uh, oh, oh, I forgot about Antiques Roadshow. <laughs> I oh, I grew up watching that. Like where they would the oh. people would just bring in just garbage <laughs> and there was yeah. This is uh worth two birds in the bush or whatever they say. They, they say crazy oh, stuff man. on there. Yeah. Yeah, I remember wild shit. My great Damn, aunt died. So yeah. <laughs> my great aunt died. She had this like insanely racist thermometer that had like a black boy holding it and he it was like just so racist. And my mom was like, keep this. It's probably going to be worth something someday. Jesus Christ. Oh. And, and I, like, <laughs> hey, I even brought it to this house, like, not even that long yeah, ago. Yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's been with me. With your kids. It's <laughs> been with me through, like, a lot of, like, my whole childhood. And I was sitting there looking at it. And, like, I remember her saying, like, yeah, like, if Antique Roadshow or something comes by, you're like, really? I'm like, I would never in a million years go on public, like, national television with this racist this my thermometer. Fa- my family heirloom. Yeah. <laughs> this has been my family for generations. We call this yeah. our little black boy. Yeah. Our little black boy. We own He's, this. He's yeah. ours. We own this. Yeah. Yeah. We, he, tell, he tells us the temperature. That's all he's capable of. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so I fucking threw fuck. that thing in the garbage like three months ago. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. But sure we shouldn't laugh at that. It's still in your house. Yeah. Fuck, yeah. So I know, it's still in your house. <laughs> yeah. So, dude, I'm going to get on eBay right now real quick. Racist thermometer. Oh, yeah. See if there's anything. <laughs> no, I think you're clear. I think oh, you're clear. Jesus Christ. Am I the yeah, only person that had one? One day that's actually going to be worth like a million dollars. And you're going to be like, no, what did they no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some sort of full circle, you know, ironic way. It becomes really cool. <laughs> really awesome to have it. Yeah. Everyone wants this. Wait, yeah. I think I found it. Dang, oh. I don't know. Uh, so I'm sure I, you I have showed a it on the podcast last yeah. time, but I, it was... I, uh, they they remember it. cut it out. He was like, I am not because putting that <laughs> visually on the podcast. It's called the yeah, that's, right? that's yeah, what they call that's it. it. Yeah, that's oh, the exact God. one exactly, yeah, that I yeah, had. Yeah, exactly. Diaper yeah. Dan instead of Dapper Dan. It's, 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 well, Diaper old. Dan. <laughs> Diaper Dan. Oh my God. Uh, Jesus much, Christ. It's worth a hundred bucks. Damn. Damn. I'm going, I'm going to go <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Who is um, selling this? What? I mean, it all is. Right. It is so all the like do, wait, when you sites. When you like uh, crowdfund your movie, you gotta say like, guys, you know, hundred thousand dollars or simply one thousand <laughs> diaper Dan black boy <laughs> thermometer is a very low price, and I can make this movie. It's like a thing. Wow, it's like a whole thing. God, yeah, is it? like related. Like some of them are it's worse. Related. Like a lot of them are worse, <laughs> actually. Oh, I didn't even. Oh, yeah. have, I didn't even. I didn't even have the most racist version of this product line. Dude, this one, you had a mild one. You had a mid range. Black <laughs> memorabilia. <laughs> two black boys pulling and pushing a toilet on wheels, <laughs> and it's just like, like what? Who, oh where do you put this in your house? What the fuck was this? Like, 
I don't understand. Like, put that with it, your china. Who? I don't know who would buy it, it because it's like it seems oh, like only a racist would have it, but then it also <laughs> no. seems like a racist wouldn't want. No, you'll like little old people with it. black yeah, figurines in there. It's house. a very, it has a very strong like going over to grandma's house, turn a corner, and be like, exactly. oh, whoa, oh, whoa, yeah. okay, all right. Yikes. They're like, this that is just is a little exactly. cute little thing I saw. I found. Yeah, yeah. They think it's cute or something. <laughs> oh, it. Yeah. So, anyway, Jesus. this was a uh, family heirloom of mine. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> our most yeah. cherished yeah. prized possession. <laughs> family and we passed it Holy from one person shit. to another yeah oh my god that was your kid's right to own that and you fucking threw it away oh jesus i can't believe how long it lasted in your family <laughs> and that you only threw it away like three months, yeah, ago. Three months ago yeah yeah <laughs> you know you know they say uh colleges are like uh that's where like liberals get educated Right. Mm -hmm. But I just want to remind you people that everybody else in my family, all the older generations are far more educated than I am. They owned the racist thermometer. <laughs> I didn't finish high school and I broke the chain of racism. I threw it yeah. away. <laughs> yeah. so, who's the hero here? Who's Let's the hero honest. here? Yeah. <laughs> I can't read, but uh, I'm le less racist. <laughs> I don't read I'm not going to say I'm not uh, racist. I'm going to say I'm less racist than my a positive that's, you know, trend. That's, that's yeah. progress. That's progress. Every, right every generation is getting a little bit less racist than his family. His kids what, are do, only you ever, do you ever wonder, this is the thing I think about a lot, because it's like, what is going to be... What is going to be the thing for us? Because that's right, like, we're not we're all human beings. Oh. At yeah. some point, there's going to be a thing that like the, our kids or our kids' kids will be like saying that will be like, no, that's a lie too far for us. I think it's going to be like robotics. I think it's going to be like your daughter's going to bring home a robot? an AI enhanced robot boyfriend. And you're going to be like, not a human. And they're like, wow, you can't <laughs> yeah, say that, yeah. dad. <laughs> no, you not can't fucking realistic not sperm boy, samples inside it. It can give me a child. Uh, no, the big, it's a real human. I think the Blade Runner thing will be pretty like people uh, that get sick. enhancements and stuff. Not not outside of like, like the way cyberpunk does it, where it's like a oh, sense and shit. Yeah, no, I think people will will get mad because it's like in order to keep up in my industry, I need to have enhancements. The old robot arm, something like <laughs> that. You know, those guys leg. in the the Ford uh, factory, they now have the exoskeleton that helps them lift stuff for extended periods of time, and it relieves yeah, their back yeah, and nice. their shoulder muscles. But imagine once like some of that tech. You can get like Doc Ock gets, arms. Yeah, it gets internalized somehow. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I could see a world where it's like, cool, here's an injection that will just help you like think faster, right? Like your brain synapses are going to fire like they were when you were in your 20s. Like that you sort of 20 stuff. Of them. You, you load me <laughs> up. You are in your 20s. Shut the fuck up. Well, <laughs> I, shut the fuck up. My brain doesn't work like Whoa, it is, I, can, yeah. I can get a <laughs> syringe that makes me feel like right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah, they do. Hey, guess up. what? Yeah. Guess what? They sell those already. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh. No, uh, what? I, I would definitely get some crazy enhancements if I'm like later in my life. Doc Ock arms, fucking. Oh hell yeah! yeah. Robot eyes. Nothing to lose. Are you kidding? Yeah. 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 Uh, maybe Just my a... fingertip that flips up and it's a lighter. I can oh yeah. Light, light <laughs> Five. Let's start small. <laughs> that could be done by twenty. No, I'm not. I would start smoking <laughs> if I had the. <laughs> If I had the ability, and if I went to like a family function or something, and somebody else lit a single candle, I would be so fucking pissed off. <laughs> you know that. Yeah. I can't <laughs> no no lighter finger, and you lit all the candles in the centerpiece. Like it's the yeah. one thing I do. <laughs> this yeah. Five hundred grand. To install this. <laughs> I gave up everything for this. Yeah. My kids aren't going to college, so I can light those candles. <laughs> yeah, but small stuff like, like that. Very. very light self-defense <laughs> like lighter like get the fuck away from me 30, 30 <laughs> more seconds of this you're, you're gonna be <laughs> upset <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's not even uh, butane like it's if it's too windy it's like zippo it blow it out. Yeah, it's too windy cool. yeah. it blows it out really quick hold on here put your coat up around me <laughs> yeah. real quick yeah. someone blocked the wind i'm gonna fuck this guy up <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, fuck. God, yeah. But, Robot uh, penis. Just throwing that out there. 
<laughs> robot penis? That'd be the first thing someone would ask for. Penis that works. Please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, man. <laughs> so, just a, the same looking nose, just robotic. Yeah. No boogers or something. No <laughs> boogers, cool. clear all the time. Dude, yeah. no more stuffy noses. Yeah. No more stuffy sick. noses, no more runny noses. I would do that and with also my ears, the, too, in a heartbeat. That intro screen to uh, Mario 64 where you could drag his nose around. Like you could, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you could just, like, if, if there's a fly on your cheek, your nose could slap it. <laughs> Really quick. I want to be able to go in my head blows up like a balloon. <laughs> I want cartoon physics. That's what I want. But. I'm willing to pay top dollar for cartoon physics. Run into a wall and completely flatten. My teeth uh, turn into piano keys. Yeah. Like it hit on top of the head. <laughs> Like on top of the head, I actually get a lump. Yeah. Something yeah. huge. Yeah. I would always out. wear a hat if that was a bus because then I would just sit on it. Yeah. Uh, huge top hat. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's or, it. Or, or a flower to grow out of the top of my head yeah. if a pot hits it. Uh. <laughs> Situational cartoon effects. How hard would that be to make? Yeah. You know, well, there's going to be like two or three different instances. There's going to be like the co- like the mm-hmm. I guess like robotics that make you look cool, where people want to oh. like dress up like cyberpunk, where it's like it's obviously there for aesthetics. Then there's going to be stuff where people use it in their industry to perform their work better to earn more money. And then there's going to be the third company, independent market, lot less money. Me and Poop are going to run it. Cartoon, <laughs> it's cartoon be, effects. Yeah. Cartoon Do you effects. remember the old Real effects life. from those cartoons? At this point, over a hundred years ago, <laughs> <laughs> you I can have remember some what of those. Looney Tunes <laughs> was, right? Yeah. In Got the event someone idea. drops a piano on your head, we will have hologram birds <laughs> fly around your head. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah. Or just like hearing, yeah, like hearing music when you walk into a place. Like, all right, now it's play my theme buds. song. <laughs> you just like, no, yeah, they have no, those just like, too, no, by just the way. Ambi- yeah, just like in your you mean brain, other okay? people? Oh, okay. I don't want them to brain. see me wearing head- Or yeah, maybe everyone hears <laughs> yeah. it. Very just invasive. F- it's called a boombox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it comes from their heads, too. It, it okay. infiltrates. Um, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm asking. Listen, I think, okay, yeah, there's there's headphones, but this is cooler. Yeah, it's way more expensive and way more complicated. Way more intrusive. <laughs> well, yeah. Just counteracts free will a lot more. Yeah. Uh, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Claymation hand. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab some more coffee. I'll be right back. <laughs> I need some. I need some more juice. Okay. Yeah. Did, did you see that uh, OnlyFans did a turnaround? They did. They turned it around. Yeah, that's pretty exciting shit. I know that there was. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I mean, not for me. I don't have any subscriptions on there. Stalt, on the other hand, is too many. Like, I think it was actually yeah. a whole. Relief thing. Yeah, <laughs> he, he said a, a good much. a good percentage of his paycheck from me goes to OnlyFans, basically. <laughs> but our first guest on here, Miss Vex, she actually said that. Um, I don't. Well, I guess I shouldn't. A, a large portion of her income was OnlyFans, and I was like, oh, that fucking sucks. But uh. That was one of those ones where, like, it was so frustrating watching. I'm like, I'll put it this way. I'm, like, so done with just, like, internet discourse at this uh-huh. point. Because, like, the moment I saw that story, I was like, I know the exact, I know the five talking points that everyone is throwing around right now. I don't even have to look at Twitter or Reddit. I just know what everyone's yeah, talking just, about. It's you have be, the battle in your own yeah. mind. Yeah. Yeah, like, you know, it's, like, it's like it's like in those. Said. Yeah, it's like you know those like samurai movies where it's like the end fight is just the two guys staring at each other, and it's like it plays out in their heads. Like that's exactly what happens with me online now. I just like close my eyes. I'm like, I've done it. I've already, I've already fought a million <laughs> battles. I'm done. Don't need to look at it. Yeah, and it's I also just like so much. Like two days before the OnlyFans ban, there was a lady that posted a picture of her sitting in her new kitchen, and she's like, <laughs> "New house brought to you by OnlyFans," <laughs> and then. 24 hours later, they did the, the snatch where they're like, no, we're not your kitten kicked off the platform. And then That's- the reversal, th- th- I want to see like how much hair did that lady lose in that short of <laughs> <laughs> like, that, that little Imagine time buying period. a house and you're like supposed to be moving in, having fun. And they're like, your job's gone. <laughs> yeah. She saw, probably was in talks of selling it already and everything. Yeah. Probably what are you guys talking about? What I miss? Oh, OnlyFans yeah, only is back. 
Oh, yeah, yeah it is. Only fans yeah, they do totally one eighty the. Yeah, was, you know the thing that was the thing that annoyed me the most is just like the childlike discourse of like, what do they not want to make money? Of course they want to make fucking yeah. money, you moron! <laughs> what you you really think a company doesn't want to make money? So like, just take that baseline assumption that like people want to make money and then be like, well then why do they do it? It's like there are probably reasons that you don't have access to. There's probably a lot of reasons. They probably did the calculation. They thought that they would go a certain way or whatever, and they yeah. and clearly it's not going that direction. But like, what are you talk? Like, it's just insane to me how many people online are just like, just there's no consideration of just basic common sense. There's no under there's no understanding of why does someone do something that's not what I would do. It's like we're unable to like consider another perspective outside of our own, and that's already hard. I feel like it's impossible <clears throat> online. Right. Issues are only as complicated as I understand them to be. And, <laughs> exactly. Uh, exactly. Not, yeah. Yeah. No, that is a lot of people. <laughs> it's just like no way to think that it could be outside of your realm of understanding. Yeah. Like there's so many things where I'm like, I don't even have a base idea of how that works. But I I'm gonna, like, I rem- like, it's not my like, lane, I remember. You know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I remember I have a friend who has like, you know, like is is done government work. <laughs> And like, I remember we were all just like sitting around talking about like some random thing, like you know, years ago, like, oh, why do we do this thing in Syria or some like foreign policy thing? And everyone was going around, you know, giving their opinions. And then my buddy doesn't say shit. And then like, you know, doesn't say anything. And then until the end of it, the conversation's peter out. And he's like, well, here's the other thing that you guys are like considering. And then he like proceeds to list like 20 things where it's like, yeah, so this and this is, and there's this and there's thing that we're worried about here. And there's this treaty for about 40 years ago. And then we're, in 20 years, we're expecting it. You're just like, Oh, right. We don't know fucking shit. What the fuck yeah. are you talking about? It's a huge like you don't know what's going mess. on back there. Yeah, it's not yeah. it's not as like emotional as people make it out to be in politics. Very it's, yeah. it's very business like. It's like, yeah, we have to agree to this treaty or whatever or we have to jump to their aid because we said we would, not necessarily because anybody really gave a shit about Invading yeah, Vietnam and it's, and it's like anything. yes, and, ev- and like yeah. everything is a is a balance of two different considerations, right? It's like yeah, yeah OnlyFans made that announcement. It's like probably because they're balancing it on the other end with like the shit that they were dealing with with Mastercard and the credit card companies, <laughs> and they're thinking that you know it's like I don't, I, but I don't know, I don't know any of that stuff. Yeah. All I know is that yeah. I don't know, and I feel like I was that's thinking it was a mix than of most that, people. and uh, they were trying to do it like an IPO. Yeah, yeah, I mean, who knows, right? Like, again, yeah. I've I've heard a lot of stuff where it's like, oh, maybe it was that. Maybe it's they were trying to they were trying to get acquired, and then the acquisition they need to clean up a little bit. Like, who fucking knows, right? Like, I don't. Maybe that that seems very business like. <laughs> During an acquisition, you need to clean up a little bit. Have yeah. you ever had like a like a sponsor or anything like that where they're like, we looked at your channel and it's great, but we want you to change <laughs> everything about it in order to do this Dollar Shave Club commercial or whatever? I'm like, I think. No, I think the, cl- the the funniest one for that for us was I think we were doing season two of Video Game High School, and like we were trying to get like brands on board, and we got like Dodge for like like the car <clears> stuff, <throat> and like we were talking I think to AT and T U verse, and they're like, could the internet in the show be the AT and T U verse instead? So we're like, whoa, wait, what do you mean? They're like, so it's not like the internet. They log on to the AT and T U verse. <laughs> I was like, I you know I don't uh, think that I don't think we're gonna do that. Yeah, <laughs> God. As an internet-based creator, I don't think I'm going to portray the internet as this fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> How insulting. Uh, <laughs> the universe. Jesus Christ. Uh, they plug it into the back of their head like the Matrix. Yeah. And they get on the table. Hear that in the old AOL online discs? Like they, yeah. <laughs> they have the Rocky IV robots in there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, AT&T, oh. we're, we're happy to sign up with you, Freddie. Uh-huh. You you gotta add a chupacabra. <laughs> somewhere yeah. In there. <laughs> yeah, he can be like a new student or something. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of Shockbot, just have the Rocky <laughs> Four robot put in there. Somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was good yeah. times, dude. I went back and looked at some of your older videos because I remember like when uh, <laughs> I was so, this is pathetic because Brian remembers this shit, but the uh, about the time that you were making like let's say like the aimbot video mm-hmm. which i know got yanked okay. off youtube and everything for not allowed to shoot people in the face apparently on, on youtube <laughs> yeah. and then, for a uh, minute it, yeah. it got back it got yeah back. <laughs> and then um and then there was like the the flower power i think video yeah around flower that time, yeah 
I remember those were so crisp and everything. I went back and looked at them. They have like a max <laughs> resolution of like 720p now. 720p, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> compressed and everything. But I remember looking at those going like, wow, these are freaking incredible. And so then I had this laptop that my grandfather had bought me for school. Oh, and yeah. then I had Cinema 4D and I was trying to make, you know how like everybody Oh shit, yeah, intros. that's hardcore. Yeah, 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 intro. Cinema 4D was a huge intro, <clears throat> like still to this day used for intros, yeah. yeah. And so I, I made other one stuff that too, had but... just like perfect uh, reflections. Like they didn't, there was no resolution oh, yeah. drop in the reflection. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I and like maxed out anti-aliasing and everything, like just all this shit and then i sat there and rendered that thing for 24 hours straight at, at my girlfriend's house and she kept going over to it like this thing is putting out a lot of heat and i'm like oh, it don't it fucking baked it alive like i got it i no that was the foundation way. of my channel was i was like i got it like i'm freddie w now i made my little intro. and then and but the computer never worked again after that like I, it, it, it wasn't quite right <laughs> I'm coming for the throne, Freddy. <laughs> That's fucking <laughs> amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> These reflections got a hundred percent resolution. Uh, it's great. That fucking oh, rules. Do you know how the lights are flickering in your house? <laughs> it needs more power. <laughs> it needs more it's power. Fucking rules, dude. That's awesome. Yeah. Do you still have that intro? <sighs> I would like, have to. Nah, no, I don't think so. I'd have to look. The, it's it's the one I'm thinking. Right. It's literally just says General Sam. And it's two balls, two perfect spheres. Everything is <laughs> made out of mirrors, by and the way. And it's a white background. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, no, no, it's like a white background with like like fluorescent light, like panels. Yeah. And so, like yeah. as the camera moves, like you see all the light rays and panels reflecting on every the two balls, <laughs> and yeah. every letter <laughs> is just made out of like reflective mirror. Holy and it's shit. just like, yeah. And really? that laptop was like a 2010 whatever laptop <laughs> yeah and that uh, fucking rules man i love it that's awesome yeah. well no what, what's worse is uh after he showed it to us and like i'm pretty like everyone was like all right this sucks <laughs> Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, these guys in the beginning, they were hey, so nice to me because, like, every video I made, I made videos back when you had to use a Dazzle capture card or whatever. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I would make videos, and, like, no, that was before, like, a microphone was needed for, like, <laughs> yeah. it was just, like, yeah. quiet footage. And, like, every video I posted got zero views, like, one or two views, and then two thumbs ups. And I knew yeah. that was Brian and my other friend Steve. Like, they watched mm. it and they were like, this fucking sucks. <laughs> and they give like a little brotherly thumbs up. Just well, so I didn't well, cry tap on the back. Yeah. yeah. But that's nice. Yeah, that is nice. That's the only nice thing they've ever done. <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad you kept I'm glad you kept up with it. Yeah, that's that's the trick to doing YouTube stuff is you just don't stop. That's that's really that's the only <laughs> success that people have is just some people are I'll naturally say, I, they know what people want to watch. I'm not one of those. I'll say people. yeah, I'll, I'll say that the mix is you, you can't it's that you have to keep doing it, but you also have to keep doing it with an eye towards what will get eyeballs on it. You have to think about it in terms of like what will get people to care about my shit. Yeah. Um, and you know, like that basic about your thing videos is, yeah. is if you went to go make those again today, they would still do the same amount of success. I feel like I we we were cracking up. I was talking to Brandon about this the other day. We were just like, we could just straight up just start from the beginning, just new, just like put them up as if they're brand new, just from yeah. the beginning, from the top, like because nobody, right? There's no memory on the internet. It's like yeah. the guy, everyone on the internet's the guy from Memento. They have no long term memory, so it's like we could just be like, yeah, just release one a week the, the same, fresh again. Yeah, just yeah. update them, whatever. Yeah. Just use some AI resize or just update them. <laughs> Throw them um, on TikTok or something. People would be like, well, there's a lot of people doing creator. that. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people doing that. I think we should upload some like highlights from this on TikTok or something. It's, yeah, uh, we could do that. I see a yeah. lot of podcasts. I've seen on that. There. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen that. Really? Yeah, I see a lot I of thought, things. At first, I thought like TikTok didn't like vulgar stuff, but I've seen so many videos of like. I've seen a lot of. I've seen a lot of nurses there. doing there's, TikTok there's like some with on people dying behind them. Like <laughs> there's like there's really specific there. words that they that people like will bleep out. Like there's really specific things that they don't like. So you just have to get a sense of that. Yeah. No hardcore huh. slurs or anything. Or... <laughs> Maybe this podcast isn't gonna make <laughs> oh, yeah. appearance on there. <laughs> it's uh, like a, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I think that's sub- pretty easy too. Yeah, you got subtitle everybody and <laughs> you have to assume nobody yeah, oh. all this stuff. Mm. Yeah, yeah all the, just, the text just pops up. Salt do it. Yeah, just all the text pops up, all dynamic. 
Stolt was oh. calling me earlier and he was like, I need more to do. I don't <laughs> quite. <laughs> Find my life so I mean TikTok meaningless. highlights is the way to do it. Yeah, TikTok yeah. highlights is the way to do it. He said, Is there any way I could listen to the three of you talk <laughs> over each other? More. <laughs> More <frequently. laughs> yeah. yeah. But um yeah, I think that's about it. I had some oh, um I had like a racist movie script I was gonna pitch you and then I was like, no, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> had to ease back on that one. Yeah. yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I gotta just have you, did you ever think somebody oh. would watch video game high school and like tear up? Like get that emotional. That was the plan, baby. That was the plan. That's the Fuck secret yeah. for all of our stuff. Yeah. It, Fuck yeah. yeah. They've been railing who, me hard because like who on the podcast actual, yeah. months ago, I mentioned that in season three, I like cried when I first oh, watched yeah. it. Oh yeah. When, that uh, was the plan, when like baby. your character dies and Ted like is all sad about it. And mm -hmm. I've just yeah, been getting yeah. shit about that. <laughs> Since. Don't don't shit on your co-host for having human oh. emotions, guys. <laughs> That's like half the time. I, I didn't do that. That was Brian. Yeah, Sam. Um, also, they, they're both robots. No. They don't no. cry during any movie. Do you not do you not cry I during cried movies? during Toy Story, Manchester by Which the one? Sea. Toy Story okay, Brian three and four cry. are both very they're camp. tear tear jerkers. Not, Come on, not no. three. I've got not emotions, four. okay. And when I when it, you know, I'm just gonna say it. I felt like the writing was was on fire. Well, thank you. That yeah. was the, that was the goal. Was, thank you. Thank did you. you. Did you write that, Freddie? Uh, that was my uh, that was uh, my friends uh, Matt Arnold, Will Campos, and Brian Forenzi, uh, the guy don't who stabbed thank him. Poop. He didn't nice. fucking do it. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, and do shit. Yeah, well, he was I just, just a direct face role. on set. Also, he didn't fucking uh, do anything. <laughs> hey, we're I cool right that at, shit. <laughs> I technically have a Twitch emote that's kind of ripped from the show, and when I submitted it, it was like, "You own this, right?" And I was like, "What? Are they gonna find out?" <laughs> It's just a picture of Games Dean. I'm like, they're never gonna find out. <laughs> this is, by the way, this is how I. Well, I remember when we first did season one. There was like the internet pundits were like, "Fucking Games Dean's like what? They're just making fun of neck." And we're like, "This is a James Dean reference. Like, how yeah. uncultured are you that you don't understand like a basic <laughs> reference to a very famous?" Uh. Anyway, dude, th here's the thing that like annoys me with being in high school more than anything else. We we were the whole time the one thing we cared about more than anything else was just like. Is Kotaku gonna do a fucking write up on this show? Like, this is a show that is about video games and esports and is massively popular. Like, will they mention us? Not a single fucker in any of these video game sites thought. And by the way, they're sitting there doing like featured articles on like, check out this Mortal Kombat fan film. Check out this. And we're just like, what uh, the fuck do we gotta do to get these people to pay yeah. attention to us? <laughs> hey, over here. Yeah, that's uh, that's annoying. Yeah, like, we're doing. Like, we're literally doing a show about you know our, our, our about esports, and they're just like, oh, why are there no shows about esports? Like, God damn! You should have Can't written win. in like a character that was obviously supposed to be a sports journalist. And then <laughs> we uh, had, I think we had like a joke. I think we had one that we had, that we pulled out that was like about like someone was like very clearly a Kotaku. Fuck no! What was the joke? Holy shit! No, no, it was like it was like. It was like something happens and it's like, oh my God, we got to get to the presses. And he do this montage. It's going to be this montage of like a reporter hearing it, like running to the phone booth and calling their editor yeah. and like going, going, going. And it goes all the way to Kotaku HQ. <laughs> like, my God, we got the scoop of the century. And then it goes, like the, the, the headlight comes in and mm -hmm. it's just like, our anime boobs too big. And it's just like completely different. Like it just had nothing to do with whatever yeah. it was. Uh, <laughs> that would have been good. I don't remember what it was. It was a good joke. But anyway. Awesome. I'm glad you kept up with it, Sam. Yeah. I yeah. wait, are you talking about that Sam or this Sam? You this Sam. Oh, you. <laughs> both Sam. My so name's I, 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 I gotta say I video game high school. I watched a couple episodes. No, I guess no, I'm, I'm saying I gotta say YouTube. That, Oh, yeah, with okay. YouTube, man. Because, yeah, yeah, like, YouTube. I, okay, I gotta say one of the that. things I'm that's, sorry. <laughs> one of the things that's really entertaining to me is just watching like how YouTube evolves and like what changes, you know, because I feel like I have a fairly, you know, old school fairly kind of like weathered eye when it comes to like seeing the stuff it's always interesting to me so yeah i mean i think i think i think you folks are doing it i think you folks are doing it real good well what's in terms the, of like uh, this this generation this generation of sort of creator types how do you feel about like um mr beast i think it's, i think it's fascinating i think by the way if you ever do you remember mr shy city no he was a guy that did a video that was like 
uh, how to keep a well-stocked fridge and that and how that will get you women. It was like a very very early viral video. If you haven't seen this video, it's a great it's a great video. It's just him like walking through his fridge and talking about like all the things. It's like it's incredibly well-stocked fridge. And just is him commentating over it. What's crazy is that Mr. Shy City had the Mr. Beast formula. 10 years before Mr. Beast was doing it. Like really? he was literally one of his videos was he was like, it's Christmas. I'm going to go around and I'm going to give people money and get their reactions on, uh, on camera. It's a whole, super wholesome video, especially back then when you kind of like know that it's just like, yeah, this is just this dude's money. And the question was like, how is he getting all this cash? But cause you know, the, he, like he was doing this stuff before YouTube had ads before YouTube had a partner program. <laughs> so it's like really, oh, really, really interesting that, yeah. yeah, like way, way, way old school on that. So it is interesting to see like that form. I remember when Mr. B started, I was like, whoa, this is like literally the Mr. Shy city thing that he did a decade ago and it still works, you know? So I think, I think, it, I think it's all interesting. I think the thing that is that, bums me out if anything from this from the current era is i was lucky that when i started everyone else who was starting around our time money wasn't guaranteed like money wasn't the thing that you would do it for yeah whereas now i feel like <clears throat> that's the goal the goal is explicitly i want to make enough money to be able to do what i want i want to make enough money to be able to like live out my other dreams or whatever right but like back then it's like if you got into it not a like a, the, I, I remember when we first started the thing that ever like that that was that i was like talking about was i was like yo i heard the guy uh michael from what the buck i heard he was able to buy a house in connecticut from like that was it it's yeah. like he was able to afford a you know afford a down payment from his YouTube career on a you know a home in the northeast like that yeah. was the level <clears throat> and then now right like and then as time went on money just kept becoming more and more of a thing you started to see guys like yo this call of duty streamer bought a mercedes yo this uh this minecraft streamer or this minecraft youtuber like makes more money than their parents do like and that slowly started to become a thing and then now it's like yeah like it, money is a part of it like the thing that was the craziest thing to me was when <clears throat> we started and ads were a thing. And like, we were no, like all of us, we were like, yo, don't turn on ads. Like, I don't want to, like, I don't want to be called a sellout. Don't turn on ads. <laughs> and like, Smosh was the first people to turn on mid roll ads. And everybody was watching Smosh videos, like going through the comments, being like, yo, people are pissed. Like, people don't like the fact that they're doing mid roll ads. And everyone in the Smosh comments was like, yo, fuck you guys. You guys are sellouts. I can't believe you put advertising. I'm never watching your shit again. And we're just like, oh shit. Like, we got really scared about that at the time. And it's crazy to go from that. And then in a few short years, the attitude was, fuck YouTube for not giving me ads. I can't believe YouTube isn't putting ads on my stuff. I should yeah. have the right to have ads. I was like, man, like if you guys only knew what it was like at the beginning when everyone was scared of doing that because we were we didn't want that out there and didn't want that appearance. And then it's a total 180 to flip around and be like, I just I need ads. And in fact, if you don't give me ads, you're fucking me and you guys are exploiting me by not giving me ads and ad revenue, which is like wild. It, in a very short time, it went from it's you're the bad guy if you make money on YouTube, and then the ad apocalypse thing happened, which every YouTuber chalked it up as like the worst thing. It wasn't that bad. You were still wasn't active that during that time. It was like thirty percent of your income was cut. But if you're on YouTube living paycheck to paycheck, like at any sort of level, like that, you know, you're like, yeah, that's probably, and, you and probably by the way, another and, and, job. <laughs> And point. this was the one and this was the one thing that like and I'll, I'm going to get I'm going to get like I, I remember I getting flamed for this, but it's fine because I'm right. Uh, PewDiePie fucking lied to his audience like he put out there. He's like, yo, the Wall Street Journal published this hit piece on me. And he knew I think he knew that I was like, hey, people, uh, you need to you need to pay money for a Wall Street Journal subscription. Because if you, because I was like, wait, really? Wall Street Journal, the most boring conservative newspaper my dad reads, put a hit piece out on a youth. I'm like, that seems just not, doesn't match with my world. So I paid for a Wall Street Journal subscription. I read it. It wasn't. If you read that article, it is not a hit piece. It is a boring, dry article about how Disney, a Fortune 500 company, is dropping one of their talent because of, not because of anything other than they literally just say it's like, Nazi imagery shows up in his videos and Disney, a family brand, decided to do this. Yeah. I was like, this is the most boring financial reporting I've ever read. And then he flipped it to because, you know, I mean, like, I think, you know, you need the views, you need the outrage around this stuff. He flipped it around to make it sound like they were it's like they didn't do a hit piece at all. The closest they came was their video summarizing it had some like, ooh, kind of spooky ambient music under it. That's like the closest editorializing <laughs> that they could get. But no, but since nobody read the article, he was able to make the truth whatever he wanted to. So to this day, people are like, yeah, mainstream media had it out for YouTube. It's like, no, they didn't. Mainstream media reported on Disney, a Fortune 500 company. But 
the mythology that came from it, the thing that we all believe now after that was mainstream media has it out for YouTubers. They're jealous of YouTubers. They know that YouTubers are taking over. It's like, no, this is, no, they don't give a fuck about you guys. Like, they don't give a fuck about us. They're worried about, yeah, it's like the person who's doing writing that stuff, they have a nine to five. They do their financial reporting. They go home. They don't give a shit about us. <clears throat> but yeah. we have to be the center of our of attention for everything, right? Because of course you are. Think about it. Every day you get on camera and you got hundreds of people, right? You're going to be the center. Of, you think about things in that way. And that's the world, right? It's the same thing we're talking about earlier, which is like the worldview that we understand is the o- is only what we can think of. We don't think about it from the other perspective. And that was like, that was just, I don't know. It's just, there's so no, much stuff like that now. The yeah, only anyway. human experience is that of a 30 year old white guy that makes podcasts and YouTube videos. That's, there <laughs> yeah, is exactly. no other. <laughs> that's the, the world economy. It's just podcasts. Yes, yeah, the only yeah. lens to look through. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's only about one yeah. podcaster. I yeah. think like I'm a 30 year old podcaster. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. Um, they must know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, it's, it's, I shouldn't it's, have it's, to bend my worldview. They should bend theirs to mine. <laughs> Anyway, it's always it's always interesting <laughs> to see how this stuff evolves and how stuff changes and and, ha- and again, it's just it's it's just fascinating, man. It's just been a, it's been a real ride, real journey. It, it, do you feel like a you know, we well, obviously said YouTube's more commercial than it used to be. But <sighs> let's say you had your channel at its like your career in YouTube restarted now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like how much more success would you like would you make your everything more monetized in terms of i think so like thinking about that now i think that like (laughs) number one i think that we would have gotten some on something like patreon like a more direct fan support model immediately and i know that's going to be the case because i I, like we were one of the first film kickstarters period like i had heard about kickstarter from a friend of mine who was doing a documentary and she was like oh hey this is like this crowdfunding platform like we are the weird thing behind the scenes every single time we did something on Kickstarter within two weeks, some other bigger Hollywood thing beat our record. So like we had the record for most funded Kickstarter uh, until Zach Braff did like his movie on Kickstarter like every, or, or Veronica Mars did their thing. Um, so it's like, but it was one of those things where like we were really early on these like weird crowdfunding platforms. So it's like, I don't doubt for a second that we would be on something like Patreon immediately. I think that we would have had like a more functioning, robust merch infrastructure. One of the things I think I'm sure you guys all know that like merch is not easy. It's like everyone thinks it's like, oh, just print out some hats. It's like, no, 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 no. There's a lot that goes into sending shit to people. We learned that the hard way as one of the first, again, one of the first like (laughs) Kickstarters for Vegan High School 1. It was like, oh shit, we really bit off a lot more than we could chew right now in terms of just shipping different size shirts and DVDs and posters to like, hundreds and thousands it's just it was like oh fuck this is complicated um so it's like so i think we would have had more merch so yeah i think we would have been more commercially monetized from the get-go you're cracking up what's up <laughs> i'm just surrounded <laughs> by this merch ball <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> the whole time he's but, saying yeah, it he's just like I, yeah, 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 well, not even yeah, enough for sale surrounded by the, the biggest place. billboard of <laughs> yeah. Of buying like, I think merchandise you should, you should I've ever seen. Together, if you're gonna do I'll merch, tell you, yeah. I'll tell you this though. Yeah. I think I think definitely we would have had because it was just it, like when we started, it was just not cool to have to be making money off of it. It was just not cool yeah. to be perceived as successful on it. And then so, when the adpocalypse happened, all of a sudden everybody hammed up how how horrible it was. Like a soccer player that got brushed by someone. <laughs> And they fall on the floor and they're like, all oh, my ribs are broken. Every one of them. And then, uh, and then now, like, they're like, I can't believe it. Like, I posted a video four hours ago and they took ads off for 30 minutes. And it's like, there goes $845 or something ridiculous. 800 million bucks. Yeah, there goes yeah. a million dollars. <laughs> For the longest time, remember, it was like, oh, you can't talk about how much you make, right? And you'll yeah. sometimes see people like they'll hedge those statements when they were talking. Here's how here's how crazy it was. Back then, I remember Mystery Guitar Man, Joe Penna, got on CNN like for a, a segment on like the new class of internet influencers or influ- internet like people who can make money on the internet. This guy so, makes money just posting YouTube videos. Celebrities. <laughs> and the guy like God and the guy, I remember this because he goes like, in this most the the CNN host in the most accusatory like gotcha journalism tone was like, but do you have a four hundred one k? And my friend Joe was like, uh, yeah. And he's like, so uh, it's like, sorry, what? Just having a retirement account <laughs> is not okay. Like yeah. that was the attitude. It was like, yeah. 
I can't believe that these this novelty group of people are making money on the internet. What a wild and crazy <laughs> thing. And I think one of the things that you got to remember too is that we're hitting a generation of YouTube people who grew up seeing this. So this was like their dream growing up. Like in high school, I didn't have YouTube in high school. When I made a video, we played in an assembly for like the high school and that was it. Like this wasn't a thing. Like my dream was watching, you know, renting movies from Blockbuster and wanting to make movies. Yeah. So now there's this like group of people who are like, why don't you guys get back on the YouTube channel? Because they grew up with like, that's a thing. That's a career path. That's a viable career path. That's something to aspire towards. It's like, I never had, I didn't, this wasn't my dream growing up, you know, but that I stumbled into a thing that became an aspirational thing for so many, so for so many people. So it's just weird. It's just awesome weird. that you've leveraged it though into now, like your original dream. That's, that's the thing that's really interesting is that is the leveraging side of it, because I think everybody doing it now also wants to leverage it. I've talked to a lot of these guys who are like on TikTok or like new YouTube folks, like over and over again, what I hear is like, they're like, yeah, I want to do this until I can do what I really want to do. Like, this is my goal. Like, I'm going to get, you know, I'm going to get this going. And then eventually I'll be able to be making so much that I can then just do whatever I want. Like, that's still, I think the the thing that everyone kind of is going towards. It's just, it's just, it's, it's just interesting. Yeah. I, um, and Sam, like, like, what's, I like, think what's I'm your lacking, long term? Like, Sam, what's your long term? He's in the collectibles. Uh, I think figures. I'm lacking yeah. ambition. Yeah. This is it. This is end game. <laughs> yeah. I'm, See, I'm but like, there's, to me, yeah. I have more respect for that. Like, it's a, in a weird way, because I talked yeah. to a guy and he was like, I want to like, he, he was like, I just want to be a real estate guy. I just want to flip houses. I love mm. looking at real estate mm. and learning that. And I'm like, well, what are you doing on TikTok? And he was like, well, I, I, I'm going to try and get like, a big following on this before I go and do that. I was like, what crazy world are we living in where it's like, step one, I want to be a realtor. Step two, become world famous. Yeah. Step three, yeah. then be a realtor. I'm like, why don't you just Sell go apprentice under... to fans. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's like, but like, <laughs> I think that like the, the online-ness of everything is such a big part of it that like, yeah. I have more respect for people who are like, I like what I'm doing and I'm, then this is my goal and I want to keep doing this. Like that's to me is like, I don't know. I just I think that like if you want at, do whatever most, you want to do and go straight to it. If, if at most, I want to have the freedom to like if I want to do like a longer form weird video, go to be able get, to do that. Yeah. yeah, just like and have it with people because like internet's beautiful and everything, but there's certain magic to actually like having someone in a video. Yeah, okay. like you ever watch like uh you know any of those rocket jump videos or uh, I don't know if you <laughs> resent being uh lumped in with corridor digital too i don't know if no you're i love those friends. guys okay i mean yeah. we were yeah we, we were all in the same building together basically yeah well i, I yeah. didn't like i don't keep up enough to know like did they have like a bitter feud or anything at some no, point no, no, like no. working no, professionals no, no, no. sometimes do but uh you know just seeing like those those videos of everybody palling around and i go wow that would be cool to have one human to a friend could i get one singular <laughs> friend yeah, that would so be you cool. have your wife and your kids. Yeah, <laughs> kind of just bummers overall. So yeah, uh, Sam's gonna make his own daddy of five channel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the future yeah. YouTube family. Here's a family question: If you make a daddy of five channel, can you tax write off every expense for your child? <clears throat> oh my! Yeah, this. <laughs> I always Much think about like that when I see those people who have like it's a thermometer. Every day I own this child, and I'm going to. <laughs> I always think about that for like all the like people who have like in, like dogs on Instagram. I'm like, do you write off everything for your dog? Like, if your vet visits count because talent. this is a yeah. public figure, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. Damn, that's a good question. Be a business expense. Yeah, right. Like a dog. If your dog is on Instagram, uh, I I know I kind of parenting mean the relationship. Back, like, if I got banned off Twitch, I'd be like, "What the fuck do I do now?" Like, I'm so <laughs> disjointed too from like how I used to be, like in terms of like professionalism. Yeah, I, I feel like I'd almost have to like go and get a master's to like reintegrate myself into my major into society. Yeah, like I'm, yeah. I'm just so used to like butt fart pee jokes on <laughs> yeah. here. And Twitch, like playing <laughs> video games and YouTube every once yeah. in a while, like. Well, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Editing. How, how, in terms of your own conception of it, how long do you think you want to be on Twitch? Uh, for a, a while. Like <laughs> I, you know, it's that's a, like a big like that. I get a lot of anxiety from being like, what's the longevity like? You know, realistically, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, will I be able to afford all these things? If I stay as sad and single and you know, no kids as I am now. I'd like to do it for like, I don't know. Like it sounds like I don't want to be like I'm gonna be like a 50 year old on Twitch. I don't know how it's gonna work in that part yeah. of the future. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I yeah. mean, ideally, you know, it's kind of my dream job. 
like that. Yeah. Really, you know, this podcast is pretty, pretty bitching. So I don't really <laughs> want to go back to like software engineering ever. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, so here's could, a, so here's a weird side question I have for you. Do you have trouble sleeping? Uh, falling asleep. Like what laying in bed, falling asleep. Not really. Because no, <laughs> <medicine. laughs> yeah. here's, here's a weird thing that I've heard from kind of whispered about in the Twitch circles, which is I've heard that like for people who are like constantly on Twitch, they lay down and they kind of stare at their ceiling for a while. I know a couple people who have this where they're like, they're because they're on, they're on yeah. in front of camera all day. So it takes them a little bit of time to like come down off of a performative uh, mindset. Yeah. I mean, so I, it's okay, hard for them to fall asleep. There is a very big difference between the, that kind of streaming and what poop does <laughs> and what I do. Like, no, exactly, exactly. Yeah, because like yeah. when I stream, I stream like a quarter as much as poop does, but it's like I'm getting on to do a specific like, thing. And like when yeah, poop yeah, does yeah. it, he's like, hey, it's afternoon time. I just ate a meal. I'm going to sit down and stream for a couple hours. But it's not the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wake up, I turn on the coffee pot, and then I hit live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And Some I don't stream like it. nearly as much as a lot of like, professional streamers See, yeah, yeah, yeah i'm i'm really interested in where that line starts to flip over right because yeah. i think f frankly like you know to be honest i think what you guys do is way healthier like way I, and healthier, also yeah. and also a thousand times more entertaining because it's surgical you know what i'm saying like i quite enjoy like your cut down like sam i quite enjoy like your your stream cut downs of of like your tarkov stuff because i think that like mm -hmm. there's there's something i think there's something there's a cost to everything and to take something like to essentially take like the you know 12 hour 10 hour sort of cycle and just be you solo in front of camera like i don't know what the long-term effects of that are but i also don't think that there's no long-term effects to that you know? I'm, I'm like really really kind of introverted and after <laughs> after i did that 12 hour 13 hour stream i i think for like two days i just kind of like laid like oh, either on the bed or on the couch yeah like i don't interesting yeah like exactly. it, it took something out of you from some reserve <sighs> yeah, tank I somewhere and it emptied yeah interesting i went to pax west and i loved it and i met some some of my best friends but when i got home those curtains were drawn <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I had to recharge my batteries yeah interesting yeah that i don't know but poob on the other hand is the exact opposite poob is the the center of the east the light of everybody's little eye <laughs> talk too yeah. much uh, i'm not the light over inside but no I no no you, i'm more the cool extroverted guy. than you yeah you're the cool and then the brian cool just is the, just a uh, he's just the guy that we bring along you need some money i need help with the utility bill and <laughs> i'll say four words and laugh when necessary but that's <laughs> Whatever it I got an idea. I'm an idea guy. He's, I'm an idea guy. Yeah, he, he provided idea guy. to us. He came us. up with one idea. I, right. You, you want to hear his idea? This is his idea. Okay. Ready? It was the racist movie script that we were going to pitch to. No, it wasn't. This <laughs> is okay. Okay. So he said, he said, hey, Freddie, how about this? It's the movie Get Out. You ever seen that movie? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's the movie Get Out, but instead of a black guy, it's a Chinese guy. And it's called Pre's Reeve. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> I said, He's Brian, the guy, the the guy is Chinese. Like, you can't be, <laughs> you can't be fucking doing that. <laughs> There's, so it's, I will not, I will not do it here. It's only, I will not do this here. I will do it in person and with close, close, close friends. But I like the, su like the Southern, again, I have a, I have a very good Chinese accent impression because I grew up around it. It's my family. And like, even to the point, it's refined to the point where I can even say that like my Chinese accent is a specifically the Southern Cantonese Chinese accent, because yeah. I think a lot of people, when they just throw, oh, racist accent, I'm like, no, no, no I'm very specific in terms of that. Mm. The problem is it's refined so fucking funny. Refined racism is so hard to get down. <laughs> people don't let me, usually let you do your racist impressions enough. <laughs> <laughs> to refine them to the point it's where it's just yeah. <laughs> but so yeah. mine's based on like my family so anyway yeah. point is point is it's like oh man it's a funny accent what can <laughs> <I say? laughs> well it's is that also... racist for a chinese guy to do a chinese accent <laughs> i know right that's the thing that i that's <laughs> really on. i think about this a lot because yeah. it's like well because you're also perpetuating a style of exaggerated speech mm. that is not necessary but at the same time i'm like ah but i'm not actually exaggerating it that much compared to anyway point is it whatever, sounds like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just like because here's here's the here's the only thing that you can do on the internet which is you could do italian accent you can do racist italian accent 
Yeah, hey. and French accents. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you can do the hands the only, thing yeah. and stuff. That's it's okay. Everybody yeah. likes okay. the Italians. I mean, they make great food, and they don't kill uh, sea monsters. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, kind of yeah. creatures. <laughs> kind of creatures. Kind of creatures. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. French and Italians always a safe bet. That's yeah, about that's as fine. far as I'll French, go Italian, <laughs> German. Right, no, that's well, about as far as you can get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Borat. <laughs> <laughs> and Borat, yeah, it's Borat. even pushing it. Yeah. Yeah. Borat's pushing it. My wife is pushing it. <laughs> My wife. Whoa, God. whoa. Yeah, can't say that. Uh, yeah, that's just a weird gray area. It would definitely yeah. be a lot less offensive if you said it than Brian. But <laughs> <laughs> you know, just your your accent. <laughs> Yeah. So, anyways, go ahead and take that script idea and just put that in your pocket. Let and, me just uh, let me just bank that one. Yeah. I expect it gets. I mean, you, I, dude, this is gonna be like twenty years or something like that's gonna come out. You guys, are like this fucker stole our idea. <laughs> this guy yeah, sue yeah. this motherfucker. Is the Forehead Fables podcast is like co-written, like behind your name. Yeah. We oh, can't yeah, yeah, in yeah. front of your name because we're we're not Asian, so we can't say or, the pre's reason. It's like I, but, dude, I get yeah. I get in such a weird spot with some of the Asian stuff sometimes too. To be honest, um, as as a full blooded Asian man, like like Shang Chi's coming out right, uh -huh. and like I people were like, "Yo, it's so cool! You got representation, and stuff like that." And I watch a trailer. And by the way, just to be clear, I love I, I I have friends who were working on that. Um, Simu, who's the the lead on it, is fantastic. He's a cool, dude. Um, but I watch a trailer, and it's just like Shang Chi's like sitting there, he's punching a tree. And I'm like. Really? Is this the best we got? Asian representation? A a little Asian kids got a honor and family, got punch a tree until his knuckles are strong. Like, that's what we yeah. got, huh? It's like, I was like, the, the analogy is this. I was like, it's not that it's, I don't, it's not that it's racist, but it would be like you, it would be like if Black Panther came out and you went to like your black friends and you're like, yo, have you heard about this new Marvel superhero, Basketball Man? Like, yeah. Ah, I get it. I, but yeah. like, man, it's like really just kung fu again, huh? Like the guy does kung fu and there's this crouching tiger scene and they're going to do the pose and the tiger. I'm like, it's like, can we do something? Just make him Spider Man. Make Spider Man Asian. They're done. Like, why not? Captain America be Asian guy, right? It's like, no, but it's like, it's Shang She's like, you got Asian representation finally. It's like, what's this? Okay, cool. Uh, what, what, what do we got? It's like, well, he's a superhero and he wears a rice paddy hat and he throws it like Captain America's <laughs> oh. shield. It's like, oh, word, really? Okay, like, come on. Like, can we get anything else? It's like, just Kung yeah. Fu again, huh? All right, yeah. all right, it's fine. I'm I'm looking at it. This is the first time I've ever even heard of it. I'm excited to see yeah. it, but now I'm going to be looking at it through this lens. Through the, <laughs> through the, I'm going to look at it through the lens Boom. of a, a racist <laughs> Chinese guy that we had on our podcast. <laughs> In the theater, yeah. I'm going to make a huge I'm sure, by the way, and by the way, yeah. it's getting good reviews. I'm sure it's a fun oh, movie, I'm excited yeah. to see the uh, the fight <clears throat> scenes. I'm excited to see. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no. We we have some friends who are on the uh, the choreography side. Oh, that's of it. awesome! And, they, they've, and like they they're the guys who did like the Kingsman movies and stuff. They're oh, fantastic. Nice. Yeah, it's Brad uh, Allen's team. Rest in peace, Brad Allen. Oh uh, yeah, that was that's so unfortunate. Yeah. They passed, but you know I'm, he was a badass too. You know Brad Allen's a badass because he saw Jackie Chan's movies and he was like, it. "I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna join Jackie Chan's fight team." <sighs> he went and he did it. And not only that, the only white guy, like the first white dude to be like Jackie Chan was like, all right, you can, you can kick. <laughs> dude, yeah, that's so cool. I'm, you realize I'm so how good you have to, to fucking some, kick. Like good action scenes. That Just some punchy a shit. A million times. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. punches with some good impact and stuff. <laughs> yeah. I'm so yeah. excited to see. I agree. It's like, I agree. I love Daredevil, the show. I thought they had oh, some pretty, yeah, yeah. pretty uh, great. The guy, so this is a weird, weird story, but the guy, if you ever watch one of our videos, uh, Home Alone, there's a big stairway fall. The two guys in that video, they fall backwards down the stairs. One guy, Phil Silvera, was the fight coordinator on Daredevil. Oh, damn. That's yeah. awesome. And Eric Linden, who's the other stunt guy in there, who's been on like stunt, stuntmen react and stuff like that, has done tons and tons of Marvel stuff and has doubled for it. So those guys are awesome. That's cool. Huh. That's badass. What's, uh, what's like the biggest trope that you see in like movies and stuff where you're like, that's fucking lame. I hate that. Like, let's oh, say, like, in modern movies, like, the kung fu noise, is it, like, you know, the, the, yeah, yeah, those, like. Dude, yeah. honestly, the, honestly, I, like, I'll, I'll put this, I'll, I'll, I'll throw this out here. I think, like, I really respect everything that's in John Wick. I think that John Wick, just like Bourne, ruined action movies. Like, everyone took the wrong lessons out of it. Mm -hmm. So then everything now is this, like, close quarters CQB, like, you know, like, gun stuff. And it's like. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's just everything's so dancey now. All the choreography is so like flipping it, flippy dip and dance around and like, oh, here's the trope that, here's the trope. The, um, the spinny, the spinny leg, like Black Widow move. Oh, it's like, I know right, 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 someone jumps up. 
They jump they up, they wrap their thighs around, yeah. and they do a little spinny thing. Like, I'm know. done with yeah. that. I'm done yeah. with that one. Like, come on. That doesn't even make sense. That doesn't make sense to me. Once shoulders, how do you, like, turn so that they spin? Oh. <laughs> and then they always end up, I don't know, like, how their neck Ray gets Mysterio snapped. Ray Mysterio did it. <laughs> like... I think it's CGI and claymation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's claymation. It's all this. That's the secret, boys. It's all claymation. Dude, yeah. That would be great. Is like doing a movie where every time there's like an action sequence or something. That's the then, move. That's the one yeah. move. Then it yeah. fucking no. Then it gets changed to claymation. The claymation. Yeah. Uh, obvious. I want to. Yeah. I want to do. I want to do a movie that I star in. Where it's a guy, it's an action hero, like a Jackie Chan style type movie, you know, normal guy in a in, in extraordinary situations. A lot of our videos kind of follow this pattern. But I can't kick. Like I just have no flexibility. Like the mm. most I can get is my leg is up a little bit. And it's like, all right, that's the limitation. This guy sucks at right. fighting, but he has one move. Just like a good like a good oh. button masher in a fighting game. Like he has one move <laughs> yeah. that he can do really well. And then just it's that one move over and over and over again. Just how far can you get with like the leg oh. sweep? Or like uh, how far you can get with like the he nut can, kick he'll and that's do the, the uppercut that then goes to the side view where it's the slow-mo of the person <laughs> doing the <laughs> And it every doesn't time. matter what kind of fight it is, that repeated oh, that shot happens every 40 time. times. Every- <laughs> and I, you just keep having to do slow mo. That's so like, good, dude. I love it. Yeah. I'd be lying if I'd say, you know, I haven't been thinking about. I just want like a clip. It'd be great for a one move movie, though, of a. Just a regular guy in his move is just like jumping like wire assisted like across the bar to double hand choke someone. Yeah. And he like flies for a second, like very yeah. exaggerated, but they don't. But he's just yeah. like a regular guy. He, he knocks and, like, tables out of the yeah. way, like with his legs. Yeah. Like, yeah. like he like, goes to the, like he, he, he like you have like the flashback where he's like gone to like a monastery to train, and it's like I can only teach you one move. And he's like, that's all I need, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Fine, double hand choke. Uh, that's so, a good so idea. Cinematic. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. You can, one you move, can make that move. one a whole lot more varied. Where like, like one of the Spinning one of the bad guys the could be <laughs> no, one of the bad guys could be like you know taking a dump or something. And all of a sudden, the arms come through the drywall. Yeah. Because he's, <laughs> he's flying through the building and first, yeah. and then shows him. He's on the other side of the wall. He's got like cinder block pieces all in his hair. That's and fucking shit. great, yeah. dude. This is good. No, oh. we got something here. We got something here. You guys get credited on this one. Choke man or something. <laughs> choke really man. On the nose. <laughs> Super on the nose. Choke man. Yes. Yeah. The choker. Yeah, it's the, the choker. Joker parody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's dressed like a clown. He's <laughs> 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 dressed like a clown. <laughs> 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 yeah, he has no, no other so allegiance good. to the Joker besides he has clown makeup on. That's so <laughs> fucking good. Every time Holy he gets shit. a joke, his fucking hair piece comes <laughs> off and shit. <laughs> he he goes flies. so fast. <laughs> All his clothes and his hair get ripped off. That's so he has good. To redress. <laughs> yeah. That's so fucking good. Oh, oh man, right, we got something here, boys. Yeah, yeah that, one, that so, one's not free. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I think uh, we got it. You make them. We'll we'll be the brain. <laughs> the brains behind the thing. <laughs> we'll give you ideas. Absurd fight moves. Yeah, but we only <laughs> deal with. Um, I'd say like three, four hour long productions. Like we want the, <laughs> we want the long. I don't make a movie. Clint Eastwood, does, an Clint Eastwood has that reputation, by the way. Clint Eastwood's yeah. reputation on set is that he does like eight yeah. hour days. He just like doesn't do a ton of takes and everyone goes home early and everyone's like, it's fucking, he pays really well. Everyone's like, it's fucking great. Really? Damn. Yeah. yeah, but then you have to deal with Clint Eastwood just saying a bunch of racist shit to you. Have you noticed that? Like, every, every movie he makes is like, whoa, we need to work in the five, ten minutes where I use every racist slur possible. Hold be- on, I'm, I'm, my monologue's yeah. coming up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get me a lineup of minorities and I'll yeah. sit there. And I'll, yeah. lit it. <laughs> I'll let it rip. <laughs> yeah. Don Rickles style, just left or right. <laughs> yeah. But no punchlines or anything. It's really just the just dry just observations. The yeah, just dry observations. Yeah. It's not going to be funny or move the plot. I just yeah. need this. It's in my yeah. contract. Yeah. <laughs> Massive stipulation. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter if it services the story or character development. You don't have to put it in the final cut. Yeah, don't, even, yeah. <laughs> don't even have the cameras rolling. Yeah. Yeah. It's 
preferable if they're not rolling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anyways, uh, thanks for coming on our podcast. Oh, yeah, thanks nice. for having me on. <laughs> oh, I gotta get to this eye appointment. <laughs> yeah, get your eye appointment. Also, if you guys oh. like Dungeons & Dragons, I do a Dungeons & Dragons podcast. It's called Dungeons & Daddies. It's not a BDSM podcast. You can find it on where yeah. podcasts oh, nice. are f- found. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're good. Supposed to, plug, I'm plug sorry. More yeah, if like, you, want. you have people yeah. on the... Nobody ever asked to plug stuff. You got any things you want to plug? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just plug our, yeah we're, we're, we're starting to finish up like our first season arc so now's a good time to jump in and, and catch up with everything so uh it's good it's a good one i'm actually really 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 happy with it um and i think it's uh it's probably I, I think it's it's my favorite dungeons and dragons podcast uh, do, you, do you have any bias <laughs> no none whatsoever <laughs> completely objectively it's my favorite one this yeah. is the best it is dungeons factually the best one <laughs> yeah you yeah, heard it yeah here. <laughs> it's a basically it's a, it's a, watch it i feel like i've been there before like i feel, I feel like i feel like it hits all firing on all cylinders baby yeah yeah, yeah. So yeah wait is this, the, is this the one that has like the unreal engine film segments to it that's what i saw i, I saw this one I, okay i know like what the Harmon dan Harmon one has like animation or something yeah Harmon does quest does a 2d animation yeah. too, do you yeah. do you have animation in yours Nah, theater of the mind, baby. Wait, you no. okay? All right, I'm... all right. Well, it's my second favorite. I haven't okay, watched so... either. But... <laughs> Entire audience, don't go check out Dungeons and Daddies. Check out apparently Dan Harmon. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>